<laughs> Hello, Charky. Hey, Cass. Well, we're back again. We were embarking again on our Euro trip. Uh, delving the... Diving to the depths of the, uh, of the Simple 2000 European catalog here on the Bad Game Hall of Fame. Happy December, by the way, Charky. Yeah, uh, it's... Folks, it's sub <laughs> I knew you had one in you. Yeah. I knew you were going to hit the hit a home run. Wait, I wait, until I, to you. wait until they, when do you were to have to say in January? Ooh, I, I wait with bated breath. Uh, <laughs> so, y'all know the deal. We got some games. We got a lot of games. We have many games. But we'll play a few of them tonight. And then, uh, you know, another month from now, we'll do another handful of them until uh, we either run out of games or the heat death of the universe. Whatever, whatever happens first. Who's to say? I mean, this list does seem to keep getting longer, and I don't know how they keep releasing PAL versions of Simple 2000 games. Yeah, especially because these all uh, came out like 20 years ago at this point. But yeah, they keep going back in time to release more of them. We keep discovering them. So, without further ado, we've got, uh, for starters, let's, let's move it to the show screen, and I will pull up the cover image to our first game tonight, Boxing Champions, or as it's known in Japan, and if I can get the Japanese cover on screen, and let's try to give this a pronunciation. This is one of the toughest ones I've had to pronounce so far. Simple 2000 Series Volume 7, The Boxing Real First Fighter. I hope I didn't screw that up. I, English is a right. tricky language. Uh, so. I, could not, I, I could not find a direct English translation of that one, though, unfortunately. So Yeah, we'll, we'll have to go wanting. I just hope the fans can find it in themselves to forgive us for, uh, for that. <laughs> so, any minute now, the game will load. There we are. Well, still got to load. The game itself has to actually. So, uh, what do we know about this one? We, we know the developer. We know the... Uh, uh, yes. Let's see. Uh, I, I should probably mention who those are. Tamsoft. This is a Tamsoft banger and published by Agitech. My controller is, is not... Oh, I know what the problem is. I have a good figure for two players. Let me go ahead. I think this one's developed, uh, the published by Midas Interactive, it says here, unless that's incorrect. Published, <clears throat> I meant to say. Did I misread? Did I misspeak? Boxing Champions. Oh, yes, Midas Interactive. You are correct. <laughs> yep, and sure enough, it's literally the first thing we see. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Not going away either. Here we are. So what kind of game do you think this is going to be? I mean, boxing. That would be, I guess. I was guess. hoping for badminton, but, you know, we can't win them all. Tournament versus survival. This seems fully featured enough for one of these. It's got a UI, yeah. too. You know, that, that's... Uh, we're not doing 12 you can rounds of anything. You can save and load. Both kinds of data transfer accounted for here. That's good. Survival. Oh, uh, Beam Splash has rules mode. Yeah, let's check out the rules mode. Uh, okay. All right, hit, all right. That's an, okay. Well, this one's in. Okay. Yep. Th th you're getting all this? Not at all. Four more pages. There are special attacks. And the clinch. This is basic boxing stuff. And, you know, I never really played a uh, boxing game seriously. So, maybe we should look at the controls, though. All right. <laughs> menu screen. Look at, look all, at right, all these not use buttons. Oh, this is the menu, right? Yes. <laughs> Wait, do they not have controls for the... Oh, game screen controls. Game Controller screen. Two. That's a bad way to indicate that. Body blow. Straights. Hooks and uppers. All right. And card. Yeah, this is the stuff I, I don't absolutely if... do not get. This is, I mean, I, I can't retain this stuff at all on the controller. I, I do not know if L1's 
guard and L2 guard are like high and low for yeah. Oh boy, we got a roster of characters here, all real fighters, I'm guessing, pretending. Like Takeshi, Yuichiro, Chai. Oh, these are all weight divisions too, this is good. Yeah. Carlos. Welterates. Hedetto, Ryoku, Gerard, Flubber, Stroganoff. Didn't Simple do some games for uh, New Japan, like official? There were. There was also a uh, a rings fighting game, my favorite wrestling promotion of all time. Fighting Network Rings at a PS1 game. But uh, yeah, th there's been uh, the HBO Boxing, a famous bad game, famous bad boxing game. Is that simple? No, it wasn't simple. These are these are outside okay. the realm of simple. There are some. <laughs> there is another simple boxing game. We'll actually be playing it next. But uh, people are saying Beast Stroganoff. So uh, I I will always listen to the people. Let's play Chai. Uh, they, they, <laughs> they're just hungry. They just want beef stroganoff. <laughs> all right, all you. For now. Good luck. Fight. Circle of sway. That's all you need. Best offense is a good defense. You'll knock them out with your uh, quick moves and your fast dodges. Man, my left hook is really effective. <laughs> Dude, do I something. A, I, think, I think there was an old Bugs Bunny cartoon like this. And you hit him with a left, and you hit him with another left, and you hit him with another left, and you hit him with another left. Yeah, try an uppercut. I think that's R2. Yeah, uppercut him and get an air juggle. <laughs> Send him flying. Oh, the amount of time it takes to automatically like orientate yourself towards your opponent is brutal. He has no answer for this left. Okay, now he's starting to dodge a little bit. What's to stop me from just timer scamming him? Okay, it's that. Uh, okay. All right, so there's a button mash to get you back up. Five, six, seven, fight. All right, where's the Galata button? How can you just keep punching this dude in the nuts? <laughs> I think that might be a technical foul. Galata didn't care when he did it. <laughs> uh, Frappe Fiasco says the audience are doing white boy dancing in the seats. They all have to really go to the bathroom. They really want this fight to be over so they can... <laughs> I don't think Takeshi is he still uh, has... a great fighter. He still has, like, most of his... What might be his health left? Actually, what what do those bars represent now that I think about it? I would assume the bottom one is stamina. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't even hey. need to mash it out to recharge it right now. I'm just going to press the buttons. Cut me, Doc. You're fine. You you haven't gotten hit. Don't know. Cut me, Doc. I, Adrian, okay. cut me! You're, you're fine. <laughs> Got hit once. I'm just teeing off good on this strategy. poor guy. <laughs> you know what the best defense is? Good, good offense. Was he, um... Was this guy supposed to be here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually an audience participation thing. We yeah. call it, Does anybody here want to fight? Six, and one lucky fan will get to meet Chai in the ring. <laughs> what a treat that'll be for that lucky fan. Oh, the follow-up there. Uh, ProStriker92 says, looks like an N64 game. Eh, like those wrestling games made by Aki, like WWF No Mercy and so on and so forth. No. No, I, not to take personal on bridge with that, but it's just a, a pet peeve of mine when people say, looks like an N64 game, looks like a PS1 game. I, no, there wouldn't be lighting. There wouldn't... You could count the polygons in those, you know? <laughs> I, I mean, unless you mean in terms of gameplay, in which case, I mean, not really either. No. There's a lot more grappling in those, as it turns out. There is a clinch in this. Prep if you ask us something I, I, in an MSX game. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, I'm getting some real Atari 2600 vibes off of this. <laughs> we shouldn't make fun of our watchers. <laughs> that's, not, that's not making fun of that. This is making fun of the, the people say that all the time. A lot of people say that. And I know where I know where it comes from. I, I get like where that perspective and how this can be parsed as that. But I'd like to say that no, nah, not really. Like an N64 would would catch on fire trying to render this. Let's see if this guy is any brighter than his uh, predecessor. The answer is no. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> All right, so if the green bar goes down all the way, you go down. I'm not entirely sure what the orange bar is for. Is that just your overall health? Is that like a complete TKO if it goes like 11 rounds and that one's emptied? That seems like a safe bet. Yeah, it is so easy to down these dudes. So how does this game feel? I mean, it's clunky in the way that a boxing game probably should be. The movement in particular, and like I said, like the orientating. It's like, what's a Dungeons and Dragons fighting game we played where the characters never like uh, correct themselves to face towards one another? Iron so, Sword. Iron and Blood Raven or Sword. something. Iron Blood, yeah. Yeah, now that I know like how to do this, this is quite simple. I, I would love to see, I would assume that at a certain point, these enemies get a bit brighter. Not but... to keep punching them in the head like that. <laughs> yeah, no, I suppose so. <laughs> That's a fair point. Oh, there's a new, a new arena because we're in a new weight class. I. So wait, did you put on weight then? Because I. Presumably. I mean, we demolished that previous division. I don't think that's how weight classes work, though. I don't think, like, well, you beat everyone in uh, featherweight. Uh, I guess you can just take on the welterweights now. Well, that's what happens when you only have nine fighters in your roster. So... <laughs> All right, let's build some stamina back up, maybe. By just dodging. It was going I don't well think... for a second there. I don't think actively dodging is helping build up your stamina. You'd imagine if you wanted to build up your stamina, you'd go for a clinch, which I don't know how you do in this game, or if you could. They mentioned the clinch. All right, there we go. There's been a marked increase in difficulty here. Let me mash buttons. Three, four, five, six, five. He All was right. counting well after you stood up. How do I go low? How do I target low? That's what I would like to do. Probably like X, yeah. Yeah. A body blow is X. I, I think basically as you go up the controller, you're aiming higher on the body. That would make sense. So remember X is a body blow and like R1 is like a hook. I'm trying to get him to shift. Like the strategy in these games would appear to be get them to shift where they're defending. Like hit, it, go for body blows until they start moving their hands down low, and then go for like a headshot. Oh, you gotta wait until uh, he wiggles his eyebrows a bit, and he jumps back, and he jumps in place two times, and then you throw a punch. Three, yes, that's correct. Four, five, you are correct. Six, seven, five. What if the ref just kept counting while you say, "I'm up eight. Nine. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Ten. You're out. <laughs> fuck you. It hardly seems fair. <laughs> what are you going to do? Fight him about it? He's the ref. <laughs> Who's this third guy in the ring wearing the fancy clothes? He's not dressed for a fight at all. Guy who's never watched I, a professional I, fight before in his life. <laughs> He's got to get out of there. He's going to get hurt. <laughs> I feel like the refs in boxing and MMA should also take bumps like they do in professional wrestling. Yeah, they should take it off the steel cages with that one ref who yeah. like broke his back for TNA Impact of all promotions, if I remember correctly. I'm well, they standing. should do that. What's happening here? Oh, I need to show them that I'm all right. I need to prove to them. Okay. That I'm... 
They should do that thing that uh, Little Nate does. Like, where the ref's staying there and, like, every time someone throws a punch, he, like, recoils back, like, whoa! <laughs> like, that would make boxing more exciting. Maybe the ref still sold be on everything. TV if they... Yeah. I'm just gonna... Wait, I wasn't mashing buttons at all, my dude got up. I was ready to concede the fight. Well, he's gassed, so... Oh, he absolutely... Look, his movement speed is... Yeah. Yeah, that's a TKO. That's a mercy kill. He's still going... He wants blood. And thus ends the illustrious fighting career of Chai. Does this kick us back to main menu? No. I don't want to accidentally press the button that continues, so I'm hoping triangle... Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Alright, ready to go versus mode? Alright, let's do it. Alright. The controller should be configured. We'll give the people what they want. I'll yeah. play as Stroganoff. Alright, I'll play as uh, Clever Lang. I can just make my fist heavier. <laughs> this has got to be like their handicap system. Oh, well, let's do whatever whatever we do, let's do the same thing. Oh, of course. Let's go with 8 ounce. Okay. Ooh, we got choices. Do you, do you have a preference? You know, the ring mechanics uh, are really going to change. There's a spike pits here, barbed wire I, here. And... I think underground is the closest thing we're going to get to backyard boxing. So... We do need more backyard boxing. That's what S Sid, at Sid asked, do we think Riho is unlockable? Not in this so. game. But we said, there is another boxing game later tonight. I'll give you a second. Me too. Uh, okay, block seems to be universal. So, straight. Yeah. The crowd is loving this. Hook. This crowd of I'll identical forget. brothers. This is family of 256 is adoring this match. How are you doing that? Oh, I'm, that get, just... I'm getting into this. I'm holding <laughs> circle. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's dance together. Don't worry. I'm not going to hit you. I just want to... <laughs> Wait. Lean it. Lean for a kiss. <laughs> Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Get you your ready? fist bump in. Get your kisses in. And we fight. See, see what I mean about the turnaround time? Yeah. So I don't think there's positional, uh, like, blocking. So I don't think you can really go for a body blow and try to bait me into, like, blocking low. I think you just block. Why do I block when I can do this? Yeah, exactly. Good. I hate to say it, Sharky, but I think I might have this one. Yeah. My well, fight you got experience. Like, you, yeah, you got a lot of fight experience. I shouldn't have taunted. I shouldn't have. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it took advantage. That was hardly sportsman. The crowd didn't love it either. Look, you had a 50 50 chance of blocking that, so. That's good. Well, what's the game where you get jacked off by your corner? Is that this punch out? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> There's a game where the animation makes it look like as you're getting like healed or whatever, as you're like recharging. It looks like your, your coach is kind of like. You know. <laughs> It's not punch out. I don't know what you're talking Super about. Super punch out, maybe? It's some boxing game where the, the the old joke is that it looks like. Anyway, no, someone knows what I'm talking about. I'm not Ring King. Oh, Z Reserve uh, got it. it. It's uh, it's Ring King. That's it. Two, three. Punch off, says Sid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we call it these days. Two athletes at the top of their game. 
One, two, three, four, five, five. I don't think this is not a situation where I can just hit the buttons to recharge my own. They should give you a second to like heal up. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. You weren't really knocked out. You just like remembered like, oh shit, would I have to get to the grocery store later today? Did I leave my oven on? When did my health get so low? Probably between the two successive knockdowns if I had to guess. Yeah. I have oh, no I went health. Down. Three, four, five. Drain all the HP. If he dies, he dies, says Sid. <laughs> You have no health left. Come on. The, the hardest part is definitely the fact that it like, does not auto orientate, or that it, there's a delay on it. Ah, fuck. Nope, that's it. That was a close one. That was close. Yeah. Go ahead and hit the button. Oh, I wouldn't do that to you. I, I would not lord over my victory. Like that over you, you know, I mean, that would just Congratulations, be Congratulations, like, guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to no, go another round? <laughs> I kind of do. I mean, we have a lot of games, but this is kind of fun. Yeah, I don't hate this. It's not great, but I don't hate it. We got to be in two different weight let's... classes. You were clubber, right? Yeah, so I was clubber. So let's see what happens if we have a match across divisions here. I'll beat Takeshi. Right. Then if you could be another heavyweight. I'll beat Gerard. Works for me. Good. I wonder if I should compensate by... No, we'll... actually, no, let's both, no, let's... let's both go to 18 ounce. Okay. Uh, uh, USA. You know, I always... USA. All right. I was always going to say... I. I was going to say, I always thought the sequel to Japan was better than the original, and the third one just <laughs> was trying to chase trends too much, but we this do USA. This looks like a mismatch. I love it. Like, <laughs> yes. I love, like, old-school UFC, where it's, like, people from different fighting disciplines and different weight classes. No rules just right in the middle of the ring. Yeah, I think the, the weight class is just cosmetic. It's just to say that they have... They all share the same body type, effectively, within a class. I don't think it has any tangible effect on, uh... This seems... <laughs> alright, alright. Dodging has ceased working. Because <laughs> you punched me right in the face that one time, and I did not get hit because I was just technically dodging. Great, I was trying to move and it was just pushing me like against an invisible wall this this punch does my r1 does take me out of headshot range though which is nice so i can use it to to dodge and attack at the same time Ooh, i went i tried to go low it looked like a low but it absolutely was not. Two, three, four, five, five. I was hoping your head would fly off like this Mortal <laughs> Kombat. Where's the where's the Rock'em Sock'em Robots I'm rated game? I want to see those heads go uh, flying uh, off, and I want to see a fountain of blood. I mean, there was heads. a there was a Rock'em Sock'em Robots fighting game. There were a couple. There was a GBA game that was really bad. Then I think that people made Popeyes, Sebek LTD. Also made a couple ones for Switch, which also seemed bad because they were by Sebek LTD. There was a PS1 game that I thought was pretty bad. I don't know if that's the prevalent opinion, but I hate playing it. <laughs> I, I can't imagine it being good. All right, cut him, Doc. Go over there and cut him. It's my only chance. <laughs> I need you to go over there. <laughs> Pretend you're the other coach. We're in different weight classes. This isn't a fair fight. I shouldn't even be here. Uh, 
Uh, Video Game King saying they, they think they recognize where they recognize uh, Midas from. They publish BCV, Battle Construction Vehicles, as well as the Sniper 2. Uh, Midas also, I believe, I could check this later, but I think they published Skate Park City, Skate City Heroes, whatever that trio of games is that all have different titles. Wait, hold on. I just realized something. Back off for yeah. one second. Uh-huh. DX Croc shot right here. Oh, you can block low. Yeah. All right, yeah, just hold low. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Let's get ready to suck it. All right, back in. It, no, it's actually better when we're close up, see? Oh. It, it's more prevalent. <laughs> now, folks, this is I've never seen this in robots. The, folks, I've never seen this in the history of our sport. <laughs> it's mind games. All right. <laughs> Had enough fun. <laughs> Ooh, that's a flurry right there. The heavyweight wishes they could. Why was I not expecting a third punch there? <laughs> <laughs> he punched me twice and surely he won't punch me again. Surely he had his fill. Six. Stepping in. Ow. <laughs> There's really nothing funnier than we're both standing there and just trying to punch each other in whipping and air. <laughs> whipping repeatedly. Yeah. Nothing but air. I don't know. I can't get mad at this game. Uh. Oh, no, I'm not mad at it. I'm just saying that it's, No, 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 no. I think it's I, hilarious. Saying, <laughs> since we're, we're drawn to a close in this fight, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and on this game. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's not great, but I, I can't get mad at it. Yeah, agreed. Maybe I could get mad if, like, the AI was bullshit in the single player. I'm just not good, so I, I did not care to get good in, in the 15 minutes we played of the single player. But for multiplayer, if you just want to have a friend over and have it out, if you want to settle your disputes in the game, in the ring, God bless the ring. I've... I've... I'm trying to think if uh, Air Guys is bad or not. Uh, uh, it's not. It's it's fine. I see. Okay, you say that. I would say try and do a single player ladder and then come back to me. <laughs> Tell me if it's bad or hey, not. I played through that whole damn uh, RPG mode or dungeon mode, whatever it was called. Back I'm not even talking day. about that. I'm I'm just talking about the ar arcade ladder. No, I'm just saying that I, I have my experience with Air Gies. Air Gies. Erogies, something. Eroge. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, Still anyone's fight. Five, six, seven, eight, fight. Back pointing out that there is pro ergies, ergies. There's actual tournament scenes for it. God bless. You know, you can go to the bathroom, play some multi blood, then you can come to the uh, the dumpster behind the uh, 7-Eleven to get your your money match in for air <laughs> cheese. No, dude, turn around! There. <laughs> Oh, I'm not getting much health back at this point. <laughs> no, no, you've been down too many times. Yeah. Guess she's not looking great either right now, in fairness. That's going to hurt in the morning. Somehow the judges are, like, basically split even on us. <laughs> I mean, this would be a hell of a fight. Ooh, that, that rocked me.
Wish I knew how to clinch. That would be real cool. I don't think I'm going to let it happen. Ah. You have no health. Just go down. Down. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take a quick nap. Wake me up in two seconds. Nine. Jumps to his feet. No. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank All right. you, everyone. Good fight. So that was uh, Boxing Champions. That was the name of this game, right? Uh, probably. Something like that. Boxing Champions. Boxing Champions. Are you ready for more boxing? I'm ready for a whole night of boxing. All right. Well, the next 12 games we have here. Now, just the one. Uh, this is going to be where is... All right. It's in the H category. It's The first letter is H, even though it's a boxing game. Because it is... Oh, wait. No, that's the Japanese cover. I don't want to show that first. I got to build up to it. I have a system here. All right. This is Heartbeat Boxing. This one is right. uh, developed by Tamsoft again. Uh, published by 505 Game Street. And let's take a look at the Japanese cover, which looks I'm a little something. guessing something significantly different. Yeah, you could say that. Uh, the Japanese title on this... Oh, God. ...is Simple 2000 <laughs> Ultimate Series Volume 06, Love Upper. As in, like, Love Uppercut, presumably. But yeah, this is more Tamsoft's wheelhouse, I would think. This is more the Tamsoft I've I've come to know and love from these streams, from playing these games. Here we are. It's already looking a little familiar. I would hazard a guess, and this is just a guess, I could be wrong, that it's going to be the same exact game we just played, but with ladies instead of dudes. What's I'm going to think it's going to be a little bit different. We'll see. Yep, that's the UI. <laughs> the UI. That's the UI i am come to gotten used to now. Oh, okay, mate, you know what? They put a filter over, but that still, isn't that not the same? Yes, that is the right? exact same. <laughs> well, they, they could have spaced that out better, you know? With the yeah, whole... so it's not like as chunky as this, and it actually covers so, like her whole body as opposed to just like this. So she doesn't look like E.T.? <laughs> I gotta see if the tournament has, like, story beats in it. Oh, no. Susan. And there's that outfits. Phantom Roll. We didn't get outfits in the other game. Hey. This must be a better game. Okay, so Susan, Naomi, Patty. What was that middle costume for Patty? Uh, okay. Chinese outfit. Because Chinese think, dress. Has she not yeah. been in... Is, is probably. She, she might have... She's probably had a different name, but... Rihanna, uh, who's also a nurse, and an angel. And a cow. Uh, no, that's Sarah. Oh, no, Sarah, Sarah is, is the cow. cow. Uh, I can't tell the difference. Oh, this one's best to be bikini. This is actual. Light clothes. That's Sarah. How? Jolie. Oh. Uh, Kathy. Office worker in a bee? Lisa. It looks very tough. And Janice. And there's two unlockable All at once. Slots. These would appear to I'm... be two unlockable slots at the bottom here. But what weight class would they be? Uh, well... Riho, super heavyweight, 100 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> that hardly seems fair. That's, that's why she's locked. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of an unfair advantage. When her foot is the size of the entire ring. <laughs> Yeah, but she gets a ring out every single time on herself, so, you know. <laughs> Very bad win record. Fight. That's here's what one of the other outfits looks like. <laughs> Man, I know someone said, would you hit a girl with glasses? And the answer is, Sarah ain't care. <laughs> <laughs> 
The fact that it's the exact same game, except with like little waif girls and being the shadow each other going, eh, it seems really fucked up. <laughs> I know, I feel pretty good about it. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Five, six, I don't know if Patty's coming out of this first round alive. <laughs> The referee is still the same. They didn't get, like, a cute lady referee. Yeah. Are they trying to say referee's a man's job? Is that what they're getting at? <laughs> Man can't ref? I mean, a woman can't wet ref? Well, they know AEW would innovate with female referees. For the first time ever. Also game dev referees for the first time ever. Now, whose win animation in the original game was that? <laughs> which guy is recycled like, here? Yeah, which guy cupped his hands over his face like tee hee tee hee? Right. Uh, we we could continue. Right. To do Wait, this. I'm sorry. Wait, stop. Oh uh, no no. Pause. No. Oh, what were you gonna say? Pause <laughs> again. <laughs> Let's go into verses just once, and we'll do it there. There is something I wanted to test out here. Eh, 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 uh, the zoo? <laughs> well, this is a I like cat. the zoo. Let's do the zoo, then. I'll do that I see you. a red panda. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Once we get in, I'm gonna pause the game, because I want to hear something. Fight. <laughs> Here's what this is. Oh god, we have... Oh, there's sorry, actual what? moves? It just shows every character in the game. It doesn't even show, like... Yeah, okay, so mine is... In relation to what? <laughs> Wait. This doesn't make any sense when it's 360 degrees. It's... <laughs> hey, who are you? Lisa. I was right above you. Oh, I'm sorry. Lightning. Typhoon. Hurricane. All themed. These are all themed. They're consistent with that, at least. Okay, mine's, uh... Weapon theme, yeah. bazooka hammer cannon shot. Okay, weird, strange. Yeah, good luck getting any of this shit to work in the actual match. What am I listening for here? The cat. You hear that? That's a cat? Yeah, right? And it gets cut off. I thought it was just like an electronic sound. I think you hear what you want to hear. Here, listen. Whoa! Okay. U.S. Lightning. U.S. Lightning. Final cannon. Oh. How did I knock myself out? Oh no, I knocked you out. No, you knocked me out. Down. One. We traded blows, but you got me. Four. Five. Johnny Backhead said this game gotta be at Evo now. <laughs> oh no! You dropped Napalm on me? Shit. Why don't more boxers yell the names of their special moves? Yeah, they're really missing a trick there. Like I said, they'd still be on TV if it had any sense of showmanship. Ear Eater! <laughs> Punch to the stomach! Punch to the stomach! Jesus. <laughs> you left yourself wide open. No, I was already rocked. <laughs> At that point. 
Well, now we know about these moves. Like, why would we do anything else ever yeah. at any point <laughs> in the match? No, wait, wait, wait. I need to know. What's our, what's our extra long ones? Okay, so I've been doing... Uh, I guess I've been doing bazooka, but... Do they call it napalm something? When they say it out loud? I gotta try to do this hurricane. No, I'm doing... Okay, I think it's... Okay, I think what I need to be doing is that and that. And then... You ready to give it a shot? Let me, yeah, let me... I'm gonna try it from a distance real quick. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, my okay. one had distance In that on case, it. In that case, let me check one more thing. I just want to see what this little one looks like. So it's forward. It's like rocket back and it's, forth, basically. No, it it's a way forward triangle. Final cannon. Yeah. Okay. Final cannon. Oh. Ow. Final cannon. USA wins again. These hit so fucking hard. Yeah, why would you do anything else? It's so <laughs> they hit so hard. And there's no like meter. It doesn't appear to like drain anything. No. This is wild. <laughs> All right, I think that bumped this up a few points actually. That Could they do that stare? Everything else is jiggling, but her face is just stoic. Could they do that in the other game? No. I. Why? Why I'm can't I move I... anything? You can't move anything. <laughs> oh no! I know why I can't move anything. All, All right. right. I want to yeah, do I'm one sorry. more. I... I'm sorry. I, I know we have other games else. picked tonight, but and this is such an unexpected just boon. I want to get the complete save of this. I want to see who these unlockable characters are. Oh, man. I'll be Both Patty. Aliens. I feel like Patty didn't get a fair shake when, when I fought okay. her. Let, let's go Just to 18 to ounces. Oh, no, wait. I can't go. Oh, wait. I can go back. Okay. You ready? Yeah. I didn't notice anything zoo related at that zoo. It, the ring was green. There's trees at a zoo. Let's do the rose garden. This is something. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to check our moves. <laughs> oh, of course. Love Upper. I think they wanted to call Love... this game, like, or the original title being Love Upper in Japan. That Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Let's so. Yeah. All right. Special. And I'm looking at oh, my... Oh, God. Dude. Oh, these are, okay. these are weird. Okay. Forward. Forward. Back. Forward, forward, triangle. Mine are basically just like left, right, left, right, left, right. I could All probably up. do this. And then, oh God, what is it? I have to translate this over to forward to. I just have combo. Just a combo. Not a particularly exciting one. Not flashy or anything. Okay, so. Oh, Grin Attack asked an important question. Should I enhance the flavor of my Domino's Deluxe Pizza by adding olives? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay, yeah. you ready? I'm ready as well, ever, Bing. All right. Let's get it on. All these bubbles. Oh my god, Patty does suck. <laughs> you can't get anything out? Oh, you got something there. Oh god, dodge is nothing. I really can't get anything somehow, out at all. Somehow, I think putting more weight into our boxing gloves has made us hit l worse. Because, like, padding, help is going down. I'm trying to get out of here. I don't want any part of this. Oh. Shoes on the other foot now. It's fire versus water. Flames versus bubbles. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
You know what I don't think there's going to be in this game? Any damage to the face. I don't think we're going to have, like, black and blue at the end of rounds or anything here. Five, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Maybe the clothes will get inexplicably torn, even though we're all taking, like, headshots. Somehow, her shirt will be torn by the end of the match. Jeez, so I, I found the move. <laughs> you don't say. Either I found the move or you haven't. <laughs> and the problem is that like, once I'm locked in, I can't, like, dodge it. I can't get out of it is the problem. BigPean.gov says, sorry, honey, we have Rumble Roses at home. <laughs> Yeah, there's no, there's like almost like no escape from any of this. Yeah, if I just keep chaining, I can't. I'm like I'm holding the block button right now and trying to just get anything yeah. up. Yeah. I'm trying. Blocking to dodge. doesn't really do anything. Dodging doesn't really do anything. Did the? Do you think the other game had these, or is this like exclusive to this? <laughs> One, two, it must have had I'm specials, but I don't think they were as ridiculous as this. It was probably the concession. They were probably more basic combos. And we didn't see any of the opponents do anything to us. <laughs> they just seem happy <laughs> to be <laughs> here. <laughs> yep. Both uh, listening to a song yep. playing in the arena. We can't hear it, but... This is only women can do special moves, like in real life. That's true, I did forget about that. I want. I really do want to know who the unlockers are. I mean, I'm not gonna rec unless one of them is Riho. I'm not gonna recognize any of the names. Or they have Aya from. Uh, you have me Onishambara. up against the ropes. There's nothing I can do when I'm up against the ropes. <laughs> but I still believe in myself. I believe in Patty. I no longer believe in Patty. <laughs> I was stupid to believe in Patty. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why would you do any other move? <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, I did something dumb. I tried to go for literally anything else. <laughs> Foolish mistake. I'll have to capitalize. Pro Striker 92 pointing out yep. that Patty's glasses cannot be broken. These yeah, shits are indestructible. Good, three, Real good fucking glasses, yeah. Six, seven, eight, five. <laughs> Jeez, I thought you were going to count out for a sec. It's like whoever whiffs first, and then it's you immediately, yeah. the opponent immediately capitalizes. Literally one hit, come on. Yeah, I there made a go. huge mistake picking Patty. TKO, you're standing up. <laughs> you didn't even go down. You just kind of stumbled for a second. And the ref's like, not nope, technical knockout. You're Lights gone. are on, but no one is home, trust me. It's, it's <laughs> That was hard beat boxing. That... <laughs> I know. I also want I don't to know. it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what my final thought is other than I want to keep playing it. Does that mean it's good? I don't know, but I want to keep playing it. It means it's entertaining, and that's yeah. ultimately, you know, what we're looking for here. But alas, we cannot, a stream cannot subsist on boxing alone. We'll forget out the tier list for the characters later. I, what I do want to do at a certain point is to, uh, to rank the games we've played for this. Once we've played them uh, all, or maybe like at a halfway mark, we check in to see what games were the worst we played, which ones are the best we've played. I I am going to find it hard to remember <laughs> think a lot of these, but we'll see. Time will tell. So we went from boxing, and what do you call the best boxer in boxing? The champion, right? Yeah, that's not specifically what I'm looking for, though. The... You know, sort of royalty. You know, it's uh the punchman 
The King of the Ring, Sharky. Oh, okay. That's a wrestling thing. The next game is Motorbike Kid. <laughs> You're not going to let me cleanly segue gonna... to anything, do you? <laughs> I was, I was going to have to silence Sid and just see which one of us, like, blinks first. <laughs> it's always going to be me, because I'm always, I'm always incredibly paranoid about silence. I'm always incredibly <laughs> worried about dead air. Uh, and this is the Japanese cover because the Japanese title of this is uh, Simple 2000 Ultimate Series, another Ultimate Series release, Volume 13, Yosu Tansha King, which is uh, loosely translated as Race Motorcycle Gang. This is developed by Tamsoft. We got three Tamsoft games in a row tonight and uh, published by 505 Game Street. Get it loaded. I picked the wrong gonna call game. I opened up the wrong game there. <laughs> Let's try that again with the right game. I was thinking, is Cass going to call me out on saying something dumb? No, never. Or... <laughs> like I say something dumb on purpose, is like, how is this going to go? I'm just going to sit here and let this stew until... <laughs> they either make it a thing or just try to move on. and You blinked first. <laughs> Always. The software is a work of fiction. The cars and locations appearing within are fi entirely fictionist. Uh, the motorcycles, though, are all real. Yeah. Like, this, 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 totally fictitious, this totally fictitious car, the Lamborghini. Start or continue. No options menu here. Mm. Zoom that's behind the start button. Yeah, here we go. There you are. But yeah, the Ultimate Series was their premium line. That's also what gave us Project Minerva. It's featured in one of the previous streams. So were these technically not simple 2,000? Did they cost more than 2,000 yen? I th think they were still 2,000, because the simple 2,000 Ultimate Series is the full brand okay. for this. But I think these are ones that they put a bit more production into, that they were hoping would take off more so than the ones that were just like slated as budget titles. Hell of a jam, hell of a biker anthem right now playing. I gotta name What's my your team, team name? too. Is there no ampersand? They have uh... these, these, these characters here, but they don't have an ampersand anywhere? <laughs> You can make a circle if you want, <laughs> out of two characters. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's the best team name. <laughs> oh my god! Look at this dude one. That is peak delinquent right here. This guy. Oh! Chick! Dudes and chicks! Um, oh, that I'm in love. We need. Oh, a, I love her too. All right, that's a good one. Ah, what we need a chick of a pompadour though. That's we true. We need to mix. We need to mix dude one and chick three. We need. To, we need to play Anesan on this stream sometime. Uh, I'm gonna go with delinquent girl. I'm gonna go with the Sukaban. Chick two is the game calls her. Oh, we can pick the bike too. Pondrod, Wild X, Slider, Zeph, the Blood. You thought that you think it would be a red bike? Yeah. GT38. Next step. The auto. The dream. Well, these all have stats too that I'm totally not paying attention. Oh, look at this shit. Yeah, oh, that's just clearly just better than the a better others. bike. <laughs> we only have 400 KP though, so I'll go with the dream. I'll go with the budget option. We have one on one to now to hunt down now anyone to hunt stupid <laughs> enough to race with this. Bad one. If there's anyone who's gonna get this done faster, it'll be me. Time to change my bike into a lean, mean racing machine. <laughs> Time to save my superior time into the memory card. Eight megabytes for PlayStation 2. Of course. <laughs> All right. I'm already liking this game. I'm already liking yeah. what's laying down. So I don't know if I'm going to be objective going into this. <laughs> God, I hope the gameplay holds who up. Who are you going to beat who... today? So you don't get a bio on 
yourself, but you get a bio on everyone you're gonna beat. <laughs> I wait, look at these ratings. Look at how the ratings are. Yeah, the top tier is W for whoa. No, I think the top tier is M for man. No, meh. No, man, go up more. There was like a man with an exclamation point. Stunts, yeah. man. Okay, yeah. There's meh and man. This game has tood, and I am here for it. All right. Let's be cocky upstarts, known for recruiting only young, fresh. I like how random words are just like random colors. <laughs> this is like a graphic design nightmare. Simple what? At toughy manual transmission. I'm gonna go with simple what. Yeah, I always play manual. <laughs> you always play manual? I mean, automatic. Oh yes, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not good the at the opposite. Shifting. I learned how to drive in a stick shift car, but I'm not good at constantly actuating. What is going on? Bike race. With his head? With his no, he head. Has like, he has like a, a banner or a flag or something. Okay. I thought that was just his head. I thought he had like the Omega Pompadour. <laughs> Oh, jeez! I tapped a button and I went flying. The soundtrack. Yeah, this rules. Uh, doesn't control good at all. This feels <laughs> bad. Appeal time for me. What? Do something. Do uh, something sweet. Yeah, I have no idea. I guess I'll have to look at the controls, oh. but... <laughs> Well, I'm ahead now, so that's really all that matters to me. So L2 is this front, is looks behind. R2, I think, is some kind of drift mode, but all it does is make me uh, lose, so I should probably stop pressing it. I was hoping there would be, like, you know, knock people off their bikes. The other motorcycle game we played had that. Oh, I see what's happening here. Okay, parking garage. Whoa. Okay, so the, the the drift is incredibly touchy. <laughs> it seems very situational. Like, very situational. Whoa! Whatever she there did was go. cool. I didn't do, have any input that. Do that again. That. Do that again. That's I, I have no the, idea uh, how. Well, you lost your appeal time. I am so sad to report that this game sucks. <laughs> Everything appearance-wise is great. But I've never felt less in control, or like less like my inputs even matter. I'm just holding this X button. Okay, so square that. I cannot figure out how to do any of this. I can't even begin to fathom what would make you do moves or like cool stunts or whatever. I'm trying every button with different combinations of like inputs, but like. Up, down, left, right. Nothing. It's not the D-pad either, because the D-pad is just another yeah. means of controlling. I gotta see if there's a manual for this song. What's this game called again? Specifically, uh, Motorbike, Motorcycle King. King. Uh, Motorbike yeah. King. Yeah. This is so rough. Wait, I don't even know which... I'm, I'm sorry to do my girl, my chick number two, so dirty, but... Oh no, don't give up, no! <laughs> I thought she was just gonna plummet into the ocean at the bottom of that. <laughs> Here's your Cassidy! <laughs> Change perspective if you want to. No, I don't want to relive that loss. I'll have to look up the controls in game. Yeah, I can't really find anything online. Most of the most of the in this game is buried in like articles written about it. Hey, okay, gotta save that progress. I also don't have to type my name in again, honestly. Option mode. 
button configurations. Handle, handle, change perspective, shift up and down. So that's what R1 is supposed to do. R2 what, is wait. skill button. Axle is, so, is acceleration, is what they mean to oh, say. R2 but then R2 is X and X. Gas. Uh, wouldn't that also be what you would call acceleration? Nothing with the circle button. R2, okay, so different combinations of R2 and R1 and L1 and L2. Or no, it's... And then direction. R, R2 in directions or R2 in L1, L, L, R2 in just do shit. Horn tunes, the godfather. The godfather. Circle, triangle, triangle. It's... Oddling sign? All right, so there there is a depth to this. Of I'll sorts. Have to, I'll have to... Let's go into versus mode and try this. Let's both try this at the same time. All right. Waterfront, the highway, the gulf, the forest path, the city, the expressway. For both our sake, let's not pick something that's too windy. <laughs> Waterfront looks nice. All right. What? These are different characters. Yeah, a lot more characters. No, they're just different characters. Oh. Yeah, weird. I'll, I'll go All with right. this lady. Oh, look at these bikes. The Hawk 2, the Slider. Yeah, everything. I'm definitely going for the out. worst looking bike. All right, who am I gonna be? Oh, I need to pick. Johnny uh, Baghead says, "I bet the Japanese oh, I'm on the wrong character screen creator, again. maybe." That could be possible. All right, so I can't pick the one you pick. Oh, I can sw turn this around faster so I can get a better look. Uh, I pick this guy. Sure. And then, what's the worst looking one? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, people in the chat could tell me volume levels all good, okay, mostly fine. I'm hoping it's mostly fine. I'm I'm, I'm hoping it's good, great even. But... Oh, here we go. Good. Now I found the depth. Now what are you doing to do that? R2 and R1. <laughs> That's R2 and then triangle, circle, circle. I think, or maybe something else. No, I was doing a different combo. Whoa, whoa, oh my. I lost complete control there. Oh, I don't, I don't know I which way I'm supposed to go this way. Hey, a vertical aspect ratio for this, not great. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> also, I cannot just reverse a uh, triangle. Uh, uh, this is a truly might, wretched race to watch. <laughs> you, you might catch up, all things considered. Come on. Oh, no. I'm running right through people. <laughs> Please go forward at more than... Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ. This game just does not control. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> well... Oh, you're on the beach now. I can't get back. <laughs> oh. I made the... oh, we made it horizontal. How'd you make it horizontal? I, I was pressing the different camera controls on my bike, and that ended up eventually making it hor uh, horizontal so, with, like, select. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, I found my way back to the road. Wish that were me. They keep saying turn, turn back. back. It's like, I would love to, but okay, here Wait. we go. Which way is forward? Yeah, the game's not entirely clear about that. This is the way I was coming, though. Right? I think I'm, I'm going left. It's saying turn back, so I think I am going the wrong direct. 
damn it! <laughs> I just oh, drove onto the beach wait. again. Wait, okay. Yeah, something the. Uh... Okay. The draw okay, distance think... is dog shit in this, too. Oh, yeah, like, at times, uh, I just didn't have, like, level loaded. There was just a black abyss. <laughs> That's the only one I know, and I love it. Please go faster. Why is this so slow? I see you. So yeah, this game, uh, God, it's got moxie. It's got spunk. Oh, God. But I, I don't think I can endorse this game as a playable product, unfortunately. I wish I knew more horns. It's, I all, wish I it's all combinations of circle and triangle. It's all three presses of circle and triangle alternating or all in a row. But I, the only one I can get to come out is all, all lane sign. Is it R2 or R1? It's R2. Why does he just stop? Sometimes he just stops. <laughs> it's hard to say. Okay, how'd you do that one? The circle three oh times. Oh god, wrongly. Uh, turn. <laughs> the wedding march? Yeah. Can I crash into you? I see we're equally matched in terms of driving prowess. So if you're trying to use R2 to drift is obviously not the way to go. I think you just have to do like hand no. brakes when you hit like sharper turns. So that's square. And even still, it's not great. I overtook. Fuck. Ah. Then something randomly stopped me. Yeah, yeah, that happens to me too, like all the fucking time. Oh, maybe the manholes are like actually like have like collision on them that like kills your momentum. Uh, oh no. Nope. Fuck. Wow, you made the same mistake I did. Chance? Yeah. No, I made oh, I fuck. made the opposite of your mistake. Sweet victory. Jesus. <laughs> not good. No, not good at all, but... I wish it was. <laughs> Player one, here's your Kara 5. That's all right. I'll live without that replay. I'll just replay it in my head if I need to. What an anomaly. What a strange thing. Like, like not a good racing game. But you can press in a button combination to play the wedding march on your motorcycle horn. And really, that, that counts for a lot around these parts. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to close out of that one, but I'm going to keep an eye on that. I'm going to bear yeah. that in the back of my mind. Okay. Get, get good at it. <laughs> Someone's got to. This next one. Do you remember in our first episode of the, the Simple 2000 Euro Trip, we played mm -hmm. a party game by the name of 44 Party? Yes. It turns out... Do you remember those mascot characters in it? Or just like uh, the player characters I, that being like weird I animals? remember dog. Dog and cat. Well, Party Carnival is the triumphant return of the dog, of dog, possibly cat, and other animals. Uh, and this appears to be another one of those. <laughs> Great. So I am stealing myself. Let's look at the, the Japanese cover as well, which is even more in line with 44 Party. 
Uh, let's see the Japanese title on this one. Simple 2000 Series Volume 89, The Party Game 2. Developed by Hunex and published by Essential Game. And I think it's essential that we play this game right here, right now. All right, I I'm picking dog. That's fair. I would never deprive you of that. I'm also starting a prediction. <laughs> what's, what's that going to be? See, I understand that mods who have voted will not be able to choose that. Game. Okay, who wins? Ooh. Cat wins or dog wins? I like this. I like this a lot. I like the idea of, of putting this to a, a prediction in the chat. Uh, let, let, let's start with N. More, uh, more accurate question might be, uh, am I going to be infuriated by this? <laughs> <laughs> 44. This is slightly improved. The UI is already better. The UI in 44 Party, if you remember, was dire. This at least looks a little more like a video game. It does. I think this one did come after the fact. Yes. Alright, standard options. Play any game you like or practice any one you are not sure about. Any or... Yeah, okay. We're just gonna go into party. Two players. Two players. Player one. Go ahead. Got one minute left on the poll, by the way. Cat is going to be... Cass. You have to move over to the right or left or something. But you can choose colors for your animal, which yeah. is cute. Alright, so cat is Cass and I'm dog. There's also rabbit, frog. Frog has a tie! Look at that, that's adorable. I can't wait to be furious at this game in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Bee licks the cat. Oh, wonderful, wonderful cat. Alright, last couple seconds to get your votes in. Uh, and I'm gonna be dog. <laughs> Holy shit! People hate me! <laughs> well, maybe a last minute thing will come in. We'll see. Uh, for, for the benefit of people who, uh, are watching on YouTube, we'll, we'll, I need to uh, screenshot it. Okay, so, right now, uh, Cat. Wins has two percent of the votes. Dog wins has ninety-eight percent. I want to. I want to. I'm sorry, this not of the screen. vote. So here's the thing. Okay, here we go. This so... is not actually right. So <laughs> what what I meant to say was ninety-eight percent of the bits is on dog wins, with I believe one person <laughs> voted oh, that I, I was going to win. <laughs> I see. How one this person works now. <laughs> one person voted with eleven point nine k channel points that I was going to win. Five people voted that you were going to win, but only 220. So one person, like, is really banking on my win. <laughs> if it's okay, press X. I, I will. Uh, four letters. It's gotta be random. I'm just curious. Like Jap Japan-related games? <laughs> this is a strange, co strange concept to me, but random for sure. I think we gotta do 10. Yeah, let's do it. I got nowhere else to be. Alright, we're committing to this? Yeah, we're committing. Oh, the uh, the if you look at the chat, it actually shows who voted on what. They'll have ones or twos oh. next to their names in the chat. That's cool. We're just learning how this Twitch thing works, by the way. Yeah. Don't mind us. Uh, we can look I at have no idea who voted for me. A frappe fiasco voted for you with 12,000 points. Ah, <laughs> Go a step makes sense. higher by pressing R1, L1, and triangle in turns. When you press circle, you can drop rocks on your competitor's head. If someone drops rocks on you, press X at the right time to avoid it. You got all that? Yes. So in turns, is it? I wonder if it'll show it on screen or if we're just mashing. All right. I'm 
I'm just mashing those buttons. <laughs> I think we're gonna win this one. <laughs> yeah, I think I might. I still haven't really figured out. <laughs> Oh, we had a limited number of things to drop. Yep. Uh, Frappe Fiasco in chat. Sharky, what the fuck are you doing? Get your shit together. God damn it, Sharky. That's it's only the first one. Come on. Johnny Baghead says, Animal abuse call Peter. <laughs> I will go on to the next step. Do you still anyone's game? I have 10 points. You yeah, already. there's still... Yeah, there's still a lot of time left. Noodle eating bowls. contest. All right, what are the controls? Rotate the left stick once, ask for a refill, press X. Rotate the L accurately in a perfect circle just once. Okay. Just once. All right. I'm already liking this one way more than 44 Party. <laughs> I'm not just saying that because I'm winning. I'm saying because it's actually yeah. like, it has a better presentation. These games seem more fun. Oh. How can I toss rocks on your head here? It's so fucked if you fuck one up. If you fuck up a perfect circle, then you like you're ruined. Yeah. I figured out the secret. I figured out the secret too late. Yeah. But just keep <laughs> rotating the circle. Just keep rotating the analog yeah. stick, and then press X. That that's the secret to it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I was stopping rotating the analog stick, and that's what was messing me up. That that's why I couldn't win that you one. Just, you figured that out way did, quicker than I did. Yeah, you just wait until he holds the ball out, and it's like, okay, stop rotating. Yeah. Oh boy. After starting signal, run 110 meters, jumping the hurdles, do it fastest, win the race. You can start to run by tapping O and X repeatedly and jump with triangle. Okay. All how right. Far you jump is controlled by how hard you press triangle. So it's another one of those. I'm uh, gonna punch the triangle button with my fist. I'm gonna shatter yeah. this controller, but I'm gonna win this damn game. So it is pressure sensitive. Neither of us have pressure sensitive controllers. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how this works. Ah. I have my controller on my knee right now. Both thumbs. On X in circle. Ah. If I hadn't tripped on that first one, yeah. or that second one. Once I got that rhythm going. Games of skill, these games. Weightlifting. Starting to right. lift the barbells one by one, the will to get... They will get heavier as you go on. The player who can lift all barbells first will be the winner. If nobody manages to lift all the barbells in time, then the player who lifted the heaviest one will win. Just the X button. Okay, you can lift the barbell pressing X when the power gauge reaches the top. So it's a timing game, I think. Rapid Fiasco says that you're out of his will, by the way. I just want to let you know that. I put up the deed from my house on cat. I need this, says Hermie-ish. So, <laughs> really high stakes in the chat tonight. <laughs> we should do predictions more often. I like this. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. They're still gonna let me get away with that? Okay. No, that one's too yeah. short. Ah. Alright. 
No, that one, that, that one's definitely a no-go. Nope. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. Problem is, I'm playing over delay. <laughs> yeah, you do have a frame delay. This is also tricky. Yeah. I, I will grant it that. You have a better sense of timing than I do, though. It, it really is a delay kicking your yeah. ass on this one, I'm sad to say. Yeah. Woo. John, Kate, Ann, and Bill are all chumps compared to me. Six more games. This is still anyone's game. Yeah, six more games. Give me another reversey. Come on. <laughs> Balance the bar on your hands without letting it fall over. The player does this for long, so it'll be the winner. How do you control this? Keep your right hand. Oh, God. Okay. What you can move each hand back to the center by rotating each stick to up. I'm sorry, what does that mean? We're back to horrible descriptions of these. You can move each hand back to the center by rotating each stick to up. Well, let's look at this again. That does not help. We're just gonna have to wing it. I'm, I'm sad to say, we're just gonna have to wing this one. Oh. I love the little crowd in the background, too. Like a Parappa crowd. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh. I, I may have fucked up. No, I... no, 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 ah. Let's see what the high scores, like, what the computer high scores look like yeah. on this. <laughs> All right, so this is this is supposed to be a tough one, then. Well played, Sharky. Yeah, you are the you. better balancer. Right, five more games. Stop as many of the balls as you can. There'll be 30 attempts on goal. The one who saves the most will be the winner. Go left, press left. To go right, press right. Stop a ball from coming from the left. Tilt the left stick down and vice versa. Push both Wait. sticks downwards at the same time to jump and stop a ball from coming from the front. Don't okay, panic. So... Watch the balls carefully. Wait a minute. To go left, press press it. Just pre No, to I think what they right, mean to say is right analog stick, stick to the left. Yes. This is horrible explanation of this. No, but it's it's showing it's showing right thumbstick. Stop ball from coming from the left. I don't think it's a thumbstick. Left. I think they mean to say, like, the L means move the analog stick to the left. I don't even think they mean, like, individual analog stick here. No, you see, tilt the left down and vice versa. Stop ball coming from the left. I have to just do this in the game. I, I can't parse this at all. <laughs> and then both sticks downwards to jump. Are we going to take turns doing this? Uh, I thought, I think we were going to do it at the same time, but yeah, we do save the time. Oh, what the yeah. fuck? I get it. Why am I jumping? <laughs> This makes yeah, those absolutely are bad no sense. Those are bad instructions, but I get it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna yep. keep mashing these buttons and, and some... Fuck. Okay. Alright, so what's what the score? What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no idea what that so, was. So, <laughs> the thing they said about jump was wrong. The thing... When they said press both sticks down to jump, no, you press both sticks up to jump. I, I, I got that at a certain point, but I could not figure out how to activate each hand to stop the balls that were coming in. On the left side of the screen is your left stick, on the right side of your screen is your right stick, and you hold it up to block up. I was trying every combination of movements, and nothing felt like it was matching up to what I was doing in any way, shape, or form. And now we got another goddamn football game. <laughs> Oh no, I think this is a timing one again. After the starting signal, juggle the ball for as long as you can without hitting it with without it hitting the floor. The player who does this for the longest will be the winner. Just press X. Okay. Wait, you can juggle the 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I think it's a timing game anyway, so I'm probably fucked. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a rough go. Rafa <laughs> Fiasco says Cash is cheating, they're not letting Sharky read the rules. <laughs> hey, by any means necessary. <laughs> oh my god, these ball games. You have ten balls, hit as many hey, balls how'd as you, you know can. that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the man with the golden gun and how Scaramanga, played by Christopher <laughs> Lee, his big quirk was that he had three nipples. And so that's I how Bond, that. no one knows what he looks like except for the fact he has three nipples. So when Bond goes to pretend to be Scaramanga, he just pastes a nipple on his <laughs> his hairy ass chest. Great film. Now I, was talk now, I was talking about baseball, so I don't know why you're talking about nipples. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking like a an extra... <laughs> Extra stuff on the human body, you know? That's that's what got my thoughts in that. Don't mind me. Uh, change your position. <laughs> All right, so we can position ourselves on the plate and we can hit that ball. The ball will go further the harder you press X. Great. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I just free word associate, okay? Like, I, I have All a right. thought. I, I, it's... <laughs> Right? <laughs> Anyone else getting Winnie the Pooh's Home Run Derby flashback, says Video Game King. I did play a fair bit of that game. I never played that thing. I played it because of the notoriety around it. It was it popped off on 2chan at a certain point. Which made its way to other corners of the internet. Oh my god, I do not have the timing on this, or they're changing it in such a way where I am. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. I don't have any perspective, I don't have any depth perception. This is unfair it's... to me, personally. This is... <laughs> I'm not sure how much depth perception would help in this case. I couldn't tell where the ball was relative to... I couldn't tell how far away it was. Give me a virtual Yeah, but you're not, you're not seeing this in 3D, though. Like, I'm not seeing this in 3D either. I can't see anything in 3D, I'll have you know. <laughs> I don't know, I just... I guess I'm just bad at that. <laughs> the stopwatch. After the starting signal, you must guess when five seconds has passed and raise your hand. The player who's the closest... Well... I think I have this Stop one. Stop your watch fix. Okay. Count to five. Count to five in your head. I'm ready for this. I'm as ready for this as anything in my life. My video editor skills are going to come to the forefront here. And my perfect internal clock will not fail me. Oh, I was... Way the fuck Way off. off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they gave you the countdown delay, timer yeah. at the top and everything for that one, so you can you can match that rhythm. Yeah, it was stream delay. Yeah, that, <laughs> it's go-to excuse. I tied with Kate, so I'm in good company. Yeah. One, one more, more game. game. I don't know what happens if we tie. <laughs> After the starting signal. Throw as many balls into the basket as you can within the time limit. The player who gets the most baskets will win. I'm going to try to win this. But you should also try to win so you can tie it up and we can see what the yes. hell happens. All Just right. X. Ooh, may the better animal win. May the better species win. Right. This is better than 44 Party. Oh, for sure. it, it, infinitely. It's not even close. Sharky, hey, there's a problem. a problem. Uh, so they weren't kidding about the pressure-sensitive buttons. Oh. 
Oh no. Wait, if I'm mashing it... Wait! Yeah, but I've, I have also figured out that strategy. Just get it random. Oh, yes! Uh, Alright. Cat wins! Cat wins. Dire scores. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild! Frappe's in debt right. now. It's yep. <laughs> Are you sure that cat wins is the correct outcome? Uh, yep. Big prediction. Final result. I just want to thank, uh, myself for being so good at everything that I set my mind to. Uh, yeah, that's my victory it's... speech. That's my... That's basically it. Yeah. It's, o it's only fair. Dance, yeah. Oh, that's a good dance. It's only fair after I trounced you so hard at 44 games. That... That's true. <laughs> yeah. You want to hit the button? Again, I wouldn't do that. Yes, I would. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet victory. All right. Sorry, to, <laughs> sorry, Frappe. I tried. <laughs> I just want to go back that to the main kind of, menu. That was kind of fun. I want to see something. Go to free. I just want to see what the Japan games are. Looks like it remembers. Can All right. Press X. Oh, you know what? You gotta be in the window. I was in the oh. I was in the other window because I had to pay out the thing. It's okay. Let's press X. Yeah. CP choose. Let the computer choose my name. No. Oh, thank you. No. Oh. I think are these are the not... categories. Is this Japan theme? Shooting from the back of there's shooting games in this. Raise their hand the quickest. Dunk shot. Okay, I think I think that previous one was the Japan J Japanese games. Funny hop, biggest fish. Eat the most. Noodles. Most noodles, yeah. Cross the finish line first with some race stuff. Raise their flags as a classic. Play hopscotch the fastest. Beat the drum as instructed. Target shooting. Cross the finish line first on stilts. Break the most tiles. So like a karate chop. This game I, is... Let's, let's just see the shooting one. Let's just see that like one. All right. Yeah. No instructions. Let's, we're doing it. <laughs> it's it's got to be just pressing X when the, the thing is, like, centered. Oh, that's adorable. Come on. Okay, it's so it's not X. X. <laughs> It's something with the, you know, there's a... the analog stick. I'm. I'm... Well, <laughs> we can't pause this... and look at the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We had a fun horse ride. <laughs> I think I actually figured out what the controls are. <laughs> I think it's hold back to like aim your thing and then press x to draw your bow oh no press shoot your arrow oh, forward i thought i tried that right, let's try, that, let's try again. that one more time yeah Hard to get that timing. Yeah, it's a little tricky. That cat wins. <laughs> Alright. I think it's time to move on to the next game. I think it is. But, uh, Party Carnival. We've been having fun tonight. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, that's really strange. <laughs> Something's gonna have to change that. We're gonna have to be faced with like, the worst game we've ever played for the show at some point later tonight. And it might be the next game from <laughs> looking at the title. So far, the worst. Would you agree that the worst game we've played for this so far was Radio Helicopter? No. 
What's worse than that? Uh, let me take a look at what we have played. There's nothing uh, worse than Radio Helicopter we've played so far. I would say... Dragon Sisters. I that game was functional. It was boring, but it was functional. Radio Helicopter was... I think the worst thing you can be is boring. I would say Dragon Sisters or Demolition Girl. But Demolition I probably hate Dragon Sisters more. Absolutely not Demolition Girls. Absolutely not. That game was at least functional. It was another helicopter game, but it's... it was actually a functional helicopter game. You're being very kind by calling it fuck shit. All those controls <laughs> fucking suck in that one. I, I would take it to Radio, Radio Helicopter. helicopter. That game was yeah. literally uncontrollable. We both had to play that one, and neither of us could figure it out. <laughs> like, radio helicopter takes time, takes finesse. Of course, you're not going to do good on your first. Radio, Game Splash uh, says that radio helicopter didn't have boobs in it, so that's that which, which, cinches the argument there. <laughs> and I, I am taking that into consideration, but I still don't think radio helicopter is the worst. Well, this night, this next game might well be in contention. This is right, Puzzle Maniacs which has a dire cover. Oh, boy. I, I have no hopes for this one. Uh, the Japanese cover is equally... Oh, there's, there's boobs in the bottom left corner, so maybe oh, yeah, there after go. all. I uh, should probably look at the Japanese title of this one, which is Simple 2000 Series Volume 23, The Puzzle Collection 2000 Mon, developed by Hunex and published by 505 Game Street. And we will start it shortly. 505 Game Street. It's in the Game Street. This seems like what I would hope to be a single player affair. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to dodge this one completely? You're just opting out of this? <laughs> I want to have my sandwich. <laughs> If this is just a collection of jigsaw puzzles... Is it, I'm gonna tell you, this is just a collection of jigsaw puzzles. 10th anniversary! Happy happy 10th anniversary, Hoonex. You made it. Jigsaw puzzle. Illustrated puzzle. Slide puzzle. Oh, Jesus. 0 out of 800. 0 out of 600. 0 out of 600. I see why it's called 2000, Mon. We're gonna finish it! <laughs> Staff! Where are one of these games that has credits in it? This sandwich is pretty good. What are you eating? Well, I've been looking for stream snacks. It's very that, important to you know, have stream snacks. Yeah, they aren't gonna, like, cause a huge mess. So I got some Uncrustables. Well, while listening to this calming music, can I also get like a drink up? Can someone redeem a drink up with the, the points they won, please? Thank you. Oh, sure. I could also use a drink. Love this songs. Is, uh, An idol butter. is a classmate. This peanut Maybe butter strawberry. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Thank you very much. Thank can you, everyone. You see? For redeeming. It's much appreciated. I don't have snacks, I'm but I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Can you see? <laughs> One. Special thanks list is longer than the credits and all the other like people who actually worked on this game. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Oh, Can no, you I gotta... see? <sighs> Johnny's burdened through those points. <laughs> if you got him, spend them. All right. I'll do one or two of each. You say as if you'll complete <laughs> them. I'm fully aware of what oh, I'm Jesus. doing. Can you I see? Battle you Jigsaw. There is a two-player mode. <laughs> I will spare you. I'll let you eat your sandwich. All right. I'm going to do time attack because it's more interesting. Apex says, I appreciate your use of the word sandwich to mask that it was an unprestable into your ass. I was going to be upfront about it. <laughs> it is technically fillings between two slices of bread that have somehow been sewn together. And then defrosted from a freezer. Oh no, they don't snap. The pieces don't snap into anything. Can you rotate the pieces? 
I can. I didn't even uh, take into account that you'd have to rotate the pieces. Yeah, because I can tell that bottom oh, yeah. left piece goes in the top right. All right, they snap when they're in the right place. Okay. Which means I can just brute force this a little bit, can I? Well, it definitely... Oh, actually, yeah. They definitely wouldn't be down there the way you were doing it, but... That? Yeah. I, 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 I can't backseat jigsaw puzzles. That's not <laughs> yeah, a thing yeah, any, any person should do. I do like this the smooth soundtrack to this. I feel like I would like to play with a jigsaw puzzle or something, but like, what am I going to do with it afterwards? That's so much Hanging stuff. Hanging up on a wall. That's what my uh, dad used to do. Uh, he would do puzzles of, like, buildings that he had uh, worked on uh, in his capacity as a pipe fitter. And then he would uh, hang them up on his wall. I don't think I would like to, like, do that with jigsaw puzzles, because, like, then I wouldn't be able to, get to play with them again. It's just like, well, this thing is, like, on the wall permanently now. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't feel like I would. I can't, I can't why of... some people... I get why some people would like to do that, also, but I'm also very, like, constantly in a crisis of money, almost. And I'm like, gotta man, maximize. if I... Yeah. yeah, like, if I blow my money on this one puzzle, I gotta I gotta make this puzzle last. I also feel like, what's even the point of buying puzzles? Just print them out on pieces of paper on your computer and uh, whatever images, and just cut them out. And, and then cut them out them. very meticulously. <laughs> What am I doing? No, yeah, you, you. It goes like. Yeah, I was in the wrong slot. It's got to do yeah. that, and then. Just as the song finished, too. New record. Look at that little guy. Look at that cute little guy. Prep Fiesco says, "Just get your puzzles from the thrift store with the added excitement of not knowing if all the pieces are there." That's an idea. I used to go to thrift stores and get games, particularly like board games. Uh, haven't had the chance to play most of them because the people I know who play board games like moved away from the city. But I did get one when I visited Mass when I visited Massachusetts one time, and it was a Neo Pets board game, huh. which I found surprising. To, like, uh, exist. Oh, Picross, hell yeah. Pass the controller. <laughs> I will happily do that. This is this is entirely outside of my knowledge or, or comfort zone or anything. This is, this is all you, friend. Go ahead. All right. Uh, let you me get in control. the right window. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Just want to know what the control... Nope. No controls. Okay. Probably just... Yeah. Want. This is a okay. Oh, oh this is color P cross. Yeah, it, they said illustrated puzzle, and they had different colors. There's also a black and white checkerboard. I imagine that's the. Now wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Got it. Oh, I, I see what they mean now. Okay, I, I get how this... Yeah. What's the challenge, though? Solve it. What, what's there to solve? It's, is, isn't it just... You, you match what the instructions are? Well, this is probably the first one, right? Yeah, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, so... No. I think it's all six, one, isn't two, it? It's like three, one, two, four. three, four, five, six. Is that that's a five right there, isn't it? No, is that's a six. six. That's a six. Yeah. Oh, okay, I couldn't make it out. Yeah, it might be since this is like the first one, it's like there's nothing the really to Yeah. Alright. This is alternating. Uh, one, 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 two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I wonder what this image is gonna be. Wish it didn't let me it. do that. Yeah. yeah. I hate these P-Cross games that, uh, where they penalize you for putting in the wrong spot. Like, let me feel it out. Like, don't immediately go like, oh, you fucked up. Like, let me 
Well, now I know that it's not the right piece. Let me make my mistakes. And then I'll figure it out. Yeah, this is a very simple one. <laughs> Uh, I, now I need to see what this image is, and I'll give you a harder one if you want a harder one. Okay, so three. Is it not just like diagonals? Is this gonna be like X through the center, and you can just like. No, not quite. Congratulations. <laughs> Green car. Car? Huh? Car? <laughs> Don't save that. <laughs> no, absolutely. Very successful. All, All right, right, so yeah, R1 let's... cycles... That was through. 11? Well, if you go backwards, the first 10 are black and white P-Cross with 10 by 10. Oh, give me a black and white. Give me a black and white. That's better. Give me a Well, don't do an easy one. Do a harder one. I want to see what a harder one looks like. Give me, like, page 50 or something. We would be here for so long. Okay. <laughs> Give me the hardest black and white one. You, we don't want to do a 20 by 20. <laughs> we have more stream to do tonight. Okay, fine, fine. 15 by 15. Yeah, let's do 30 on here. Yeah, there we go. One, two, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, why don't you check the chat? <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Congratulations, you drew hasty divorce, says <laughs> Sid. Uh, this is Picross with the answer uh, revealed ahead of time, says Johnny Baghead. Rapid Fiasco saying, I found so many bizarre things in thrift stores. I found a board game based on the Australian soap opera Neighbors. I don't know why I've heard of that, but I have. Uh, it's one of the worst games I've ever played. I believe it. Rick Ross. Uh, did anyone else think that was a quilt and not a lizard? That's presumably referring to the previous, the one I solved. The cross is legit, says Johnny Baghead. Cocktail Trivia says, oh, I love nanograms? Yep, that's another name for Pit Cross ones. Yeah, I don't, uh... I don't know if I get the appeal of this. It's that, relaxing. That's a me thing. It's relaxing. Well, that's, that's my problem, is I never relax. <laughs> I am always stressed. I always there... will be. There's a bunch of these games on the uh, Switch. The problem is, like, I need more of them. But I don't have the money to get more of them. But folks, you can change that. It's Subsember. <laughs> <laughs> Rapid Fiasco, uh, what's the name of this game? I missed it. This is Puzzle Maniacs. And this is just one of three different types of puzzle you can solve. We have the Jigsaw. This is the... They call the this... Gamers they have the gamer's favorite, the slide puzzle. One of us has to do that after this. Not me. <laughs> Shit, I should have said it. Uh, Nintendo's made tons of them, says Johnny Baghead. A lot Japan only in, on Game Boy and Game of Color. Yeah, like game, Mario Picross I'm familiar with. Yeah. I know some people who swear by a Mario Picross. Jupiter is a big name in uh, Picross. In fact, I think they made Mario Picross as well. They worked Nintendo on that. Uh, Sid is pitching some alternate titles for Puzzle Maniacs, which is the name of the game, by the way, to answer your question. Graphic fiasco. Uh, absolutely sick and twisted puzzle freaks. <laughs> Disgusting puzzle perverts. These are all good. I think we can pitch these uh, for the simple 7,000 series when the cost of an average game is $100 and the budget alternative are $70. If D3 Publisher is still around, then they, you're going to have to capitalize on that. I can't even begin to parse what this image could be. What, what shape or, or form or... Well, that's the magic of Picross. We'll find out, and you'll be like, "Oh, it was, it was a fish." <laughs> that's what keeps you coming back. Yeah, as I as I get older, I think what I'm realizing is that I just uh, things that people do to relax, I just I don't I don't vibe with. I guess like the typical things, they either stress me out or just like bore me. And I like to be stressed, in some capacity. Graphic this is fiasco. a good... This is a good type of game if you're the type of person who likes to count. 
Crappy Fiasco is saying, did you check the battle mode already? I'm if afraid to check battle mode. <laughs> if there's a slide puzzle battle mode, we're both suffering. I'm bringing you down with me. I figured. <laughs> Is this good stream content, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Me just vibing out of a P Cross game. <laughs> I think people in this in, in our chat seem to enjoy P Cross to some extent. It looks like it seems like we have some P Cross likers. So I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Drink up. Thank you, Can video you game see? king. For me, this is this is how I relax. Thank you very much. Oh, I I fucked this one up. You only have nine more to go. There you go. I don't know why I had an X there. This looks like a bunch of X's in squares to me. Okay. And that. There. I'm not talking because if You're I concentrating. Yeah, if I did, if I did, it I would just start counting. <laughs> uh, Pro Striker ninety two says, "Nah, nothing will surpass that Star Wars parody game in terms of unwatchable stuff we've done on this stream." <laughs> yeah, Star Warp kind of takes the cake, don't it? It's uh. Yeah, that was the one where I drank, wasn't it? I think yeah, I think you had to for that one. I think that, you. Yeah. That was the specific game where I was like, I'm going to go get a drink. <laughs> Ooh, is this some kind of like box uh, or something? Or like a cell phone? Or is, is that what we're looking uh, at here? It's like a... looks like a printer or a scanner or whatever they would have at this time. Because yeah, at this point, I'm just like, you know, like fill in the black ones and just, yeah. I, I, can, I can tell which ones would need to be filled out here. Yeah. Bottom left. Or is that going to be... Uh... uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that fills out that. Then we got that. That. There we go. Scanner. Yeah. Oh, I did say scanner. So. That's nice. That's how many P cross puzzles are in there? Yeah, save that game. Uh, I think it was six hundred. Ooh. Now, color P cross is not my favorite type of P cross. I prefer black and white, but that's a good number of P-Cross puzzles. I've uh, taken back control. All yours. They call them illustrated puzzles, isn't it? Illus yeah, I mean, in a sense. We're going All straight right. to battle I mode, because I'm not doing more than one slide puzzle. There Select is genre. a There is a trick to doing slide puzzles, and I don't know it. Something like, do the edges first, or whatever. Heroes of the world. Dogs, cats, birds, countries of the world, world-famous places. Heroes of the world, it's the brave Mujahideen oh. fighters of Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, Ryoho Futaba. Prep if you ask, are we doing a poll? I don't, I don't think nah. I can do polls. Like, just... Just as an aside, uh, I don't have a button to do polls. I can do predictions, but I can't do polls. Yeah, don't we'll know figure why. that out one of these days. So which Riho do you want to... Uh... Oh, jeez. How about the... The board-looking one? This one here? Yeah, that one. Not... Okay. Oh, she's less bored there. Ah, oh, Jesus. Folks, that's been uh, Puzzle Mania. <laughs> Do I not have... Oh, I'm in the wrong window. Done. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think it's safe to say neither of us are doing this. <laughs> no. I, I think we'll both take a loss on this one. Yep. Interrupt the game. Yeah, I think I will. Maybe page five is the hard stuff. Let's try school. Three by three. Who can Dude, do a just... three by three puzzle fastest? Or uh, fruits. You know, as a fruit myself, I think. Yeah. I can. Any fruit you want. Yeah, 
Yeah, sure. Ugh. Uh, hey. All right. Whoever loses this is the expert at slide puzzles, and therefore we'll never have to do a slide puzzle on the stream ever again. Whoever loses is the worst at slide puzzles, and we'll have to do all the slide puzzles from here on out in video games that we play for the channel. <laughs> How's that for fucking stakes? I did. I... They didn't even get started thinking how to do it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Did I just curse myself? Take back, take back. I want to take it back. Anything no. I was saying, which is idle chatter, was just, chat, was just chat, locker room it. talk. It's clip <laughs> it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> clip that and upload that as a short to the channel. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> now my life is over. Let's see who the heroes of the world are. <laughs> I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. I don't know what I was Can expecting. See? <laughs> is that... Is that first one Andrew Jackson? No, no, no. It's a... Benedict Arnold? Odo from Star Trek? <laughs> Uh, Marilyn Monroe, hero of the world. Hero. Frederick Nietzsche. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a drink off of me. <laughs> Folks, these are our heroes, whether we like them or not. Famous Japanese places? Yeah, these are... Boy, they... There's 599 more slide puzzles there. We're gonna do them! <laughs> Puzzle Maniacs. Yeah. Seems dire, unless you like Picross, in which case, you know, you got 600 Picross puzzles. 600 Picross, yeah. Are that you gonna... almost made me consider getting it, but... Because <laughs> there's nowhere Probably else pass. you can get your fix of that. Oh, what's next on the itinerary? Let's find out. All right, this this one might bring us back. This this one might be promising, or it could be terrible. You never know with these games, with these simple series. It's Street Boys, uh, developed by Tamsoft, published by Five Hundred Five Game Street. Let's take a look at that Japanese cover. Very delinquent themed, so I'm I'm here for it. Uh, Simple 2000s an Ultimate Series, another Ultimate Series game. Volume 21, Kenka Joto Yankee Bancho. Which uh, translates roughly to First Class Brawl, Yankee Leader. And obviously, for those that don't know, Yankee style is, is the delinquent style in Japan. When you see, like, people dressed in this sort of way, they call that Yankee style. Because it's very, they, they, they say that's America's influence on the youth culture. And so it becomes known as Yankee style. Uh, let's get it loaded. This is going to be like, uh, maybe this is the new River City Ransom. Maybe it'll hit up those vibes. Maybe it'll be like the Kunio Kun game, the lost Kunio Kun game for PS2. Who knows? You ever play that PSP game, uh, Kenka Bancho Badass Rumble? I have it. I have not gone around to it yet. I, it seems neat. I, I like what it's going for. Uh, it's, uh, a bit complicated. Complicated is the wrong word, but it's involved. Maybe more involved than I care to try and dig into. But I, I like its style. Speaking of liking the style, 2005 Digital Ooh. Bros. Who the fuck are Digital Bros? That's not listed anywhere here on my developer or publisher information. Guy on the left's got that Burt face. I should I should mention that I am a oh there's actually a demo for this one a rolling demo. Let's see what uh the, what lies in store for us and, I, and I'll say that okay Legend of Ignition switch. Press start button. Oh this might be co-op. This might be a two-player fighting game. Unless the bottom right corner is is uh just the enemies on the screen. I'm hoping we can both I don't think fight so. together like a like River City Ransom. I just wanted to say that I love River City Ransom. I love Kunio Goon. 
options. Oh. <laughs> Menu and yeah, lock on. Okay. Super attack, grab, jump. With tough guy, on, look. <laughs> yeah, the glare is very important. With handcuffs on, only yellow commands are available. So there's, we can get handcuffed in this, apparently. Yeah, that's as much as I'm going to absorb from that. Don't set up. Don't. I, I wonder <laughs> if this one was fully translated or not. It got a pass. We're in street block one. It didn't look like there was like, like a two-player like option. There was no no options, period. Yeah. It's the 99th year out the Showa era, and now by, by now most of the world's ruled by gangs of thugs. Most of the world. This guy is Kyoku, the leader of the most powerful gang of all, the Hell Black Heaven Gang. That fucking rules. He rules a huge host of subordinates with an iron fist. And by now, the gang has become as powerful as a nation. These are all school kids, right? <laughs> to further his ambition, this guy ain't a school kid. He is now carrying out a terrible plan. He got held back a lot. The Thug Capture Project. Well, that's as much plot as I need, personally. Let's thug terrible. All right, you can carry out repeat attacks, and with the triangle button super attacks, X to jump, circle when you're in front of an enemy, you can pick them up. I can apply. Hey, over there is a fellow who you might know. Go and practice a little. Oh, I think I actually want to talk to this guy. Hi there. Allow me to, I'm picking him up by the neck, by the scruff of his uh, neck. Uh, Let me teach hi you there. some useful things. I'm going to teach him about crash technique. Uh. <laughs> by attacking and coming under enemy attack, you will load the gauge at the bottom of the screen. When this gauge reaches its maximum, press the triangle button and the circle button at the same time to use the crash technique. When the partner special attack is on, you can execute the double crash technique with the aid of your partner. That's all. I'm done. This might be an AI partner that you get. Fucking rip. Hey, how about you? Yo, Jin. I'm here to put an end to our fighting once and for all. I want to be friends. You never learn, do you? Today we're going to decide who is number one in this town. It's both of us together, as a team. Yeah, yeah, sure, come on. I'm coming! Are you Jin, number one in town? Yeah, so what the fuck do you want? <laughs> Holy shit. Did she come to take you away? <laughs> I was not expecting a straight up F-bomb in this. <laughs> yeah. Discrimination office? Is this an officer you go to get discriminated against? <laughs> File your paperwork to get discrimination. Shit! You've been put in you've been put in here too? Those bastards arrested you, right? Who are you? My name is Ginji. They caught me three days or so ago. That's all I got. It seems someone ordered the discrimination office to arrest a few thugs. Round up the usual suspects, as they say. You ever seen that movie? Stop anyone from trying to prevent them from conquering the country. BigBean.gov says we're going to beat up the CEO of racism <laughs> in this game. <laughs> but who the hell could... Doki, the leader of the worst and most powerful gang, the Hell Black Heaven. No Black you're... Heaven sounds like a Guilty Gear song. <laughs> Daisuke, get on it. If you're a thug from the area, you must have heard of him. A country dominated by a thug? That would be disastrous! <laughs> I gotta get out of here. It's no use. I've tried to force it many times, but it no use. We tried knocking. Come on, Genji. If we try together, maybe we can manage to do something. Oh, here's that handcuff mechanic. Or are you just gonna hang around here? Hmm, you're a guy with interesting ideas. <laughs> I get that a lot. Okay, count me in. Oh, look at the glasses! Yeah. Dude, sick. Are you are you Japanese or Japacant? 
<laughs> With these handcuffs on, you can't do anything. In this state, combos cannot be carried out. To get rid of handcuffs, you need to find the key and pick it up. So... I have no control. No control, I was so. going to ask, yeah. Oh! How do I control the camera? That's my question. L2 to make it behind my back. Get the keys? That sounded like keys. That sounded like keys, but I don't think it was. Also, your currency is Zenny. Where did my partner go? Decided to go back to jail. No, I'm just trying to... Oh, <laughs> wait, hold on. There, something said racism sucks for a second on the screen there. Did you see that? <laughs> Am I crazy? There was like a, a thing that was like, I was walking through here and there was like... I red saw text. a red thing. I don't think it said race. I did not see the words racism sucks. I saw a text for sure. I think that was just like... Hit sound effects? Hit sound effects. This aspires to be a Kunio Kun game, by the way. I was absolutely spot on about that. They, they drop coins. You can pick people up and toss them around. You're also almost dead, I think. If that red thing is your life. No, that red thing's not your life. That's your. That's your spirit meter or whatever it was. Crash. Yeah, so this is trying to be a 3D. No, wait, did that, did that say crash or did that say coexist? <laughs> ah, now you're talking. Found the handcuff key. <laughs> hey, maybe I just see what I want to see in the world. That's an end to racism, yep. <laughs> What's that smug look all about? It seems you two haven't learned your lesson yet. All right, good start. Crash. Yeah, they're they're trying so hard to be downtown Niketsu. I'm curious about what that badass steer thing was. Stun. Ah, oh, there it is. I wonder if that took any meter. I think it did. Out of something. It sucks that Genji is is not controllable by you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I tried hitting start and select and stuff. It's not happened. Re recovery. Uh, Video game king says Zenny is Japanese for Edo period coins. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. Ow. Yeah, that does consume meter, but it's a good way to make them lower their guard when they have that shield up, so... What? Why are you picking up... Why are all these guards have Edo period coins, then? Why is that the currency? Sometimes the old ways are best. They're all coin collectors? You ever collect wheat pennies or state quarters or anything like that? No. Well, okay. Back when state quarters were a new thing, when I was in, like, high school, I was like, oh, yeah, cool, I'll do that. And then that novelty wore out real fast. Yeah, I think I have a couple books collecting dust in a laundry room somewhere from the early 2000s. You ever been near a television that was tuned into Fox News and they had commercials for like special commemorative coins that you could buy for like a shit ton of money. Yeah. Or the commemorative like, plates. <laughs> yeah. But I remember there was one commemorative coin commercial where it was like Washington or something but like you could press a button and it would have a voice talking like, this is what Washington would have sounded like, and it's a voice saying something about America or whatever. I should try to find that commercial. It was ridiculous. Sounds great. <laughs> oh, big guy. Goes down just the same as all the rest of them. Up oh, here we go. Now it's a Kunio Kun game. <laughs> Never gets old. This dude this is... would kind of go on. I was gonna say this dude is not like shaking loose or anything. <laughs> this would probably be a nightmare to 
control with two players at the same time. Yeah, the camera, camera is is really not suitable for anything here. Is the big problem. Is that a, a baton? Oh yeah, circle. You can pick up weapons in this. I nearly forgot. I think this is the wrong way that I'm going. Possibly. Yes. I have a baton. There's... I got to keep the baton between stages. There's one of those fool old people out of their money with bad investments commercials that comes on every now and then that I hear emanating from downstairs. And it's some guy going like, saying like, uh, the price of gold and silver has never been zero. Like, yeah, yeah, I guess the price of raw materials have, has never been nothing. So you're not wrong. Technically not lying. Go through that, where I guess I can. I can go upstairs. Oh, you're burning up. It is so Who's hard to tell where things are happening here because there's no the right analog stick does nothing. Like if it rotated the camera, I, I'd be fine. But the only control you have over the camera is pressing L2 to put it behind your back. So if I'm trying to just keep it centered, it looks like this, which doesn't look very so I, good at all. I I think triangle and circle is your ultimate attack. Holy shit! <laughs> I vaporized him! Uh, Johnny Baghead asking, Main issue with this is Yakuza 1 would have come out around this time, right? Uh, what year is this? Can you look up the original um, release of Street Boys? Wait, I could actually look it up. I, I can tell you. Or, no, I can only tell oh. you the European release, which is 2004. I, I do not know offhand. This would be pre-Yakuza, though. There is another Yakuza-themed game in this collection of European simple series games. I think it's called Yakuza Fury. So if there's a Yakuza-esque game among these games, I think that's going to be the one. This is, this is, I am absolutely right, and I would bet all my life savings that the developers were trying to evoke a Kunio-kun specifically with this. My bottom zenny. Yes, that is... That... I mean, definitely. This is definitely... I'm not saying it wants to be Kunio-kun, but it is definitely pulling from Kunio-kun as its biggest inspiration. I cannot figure out which way I'm actually supposed to go. Ooh, the circle? I'm just gonna keep respawning the enemies, because anyone... it is a Kunio-kun game. Hey, chat, does anyone know if, like, speaking of Yakuza, if, does anyone know if, like, uh, the, the new Like a Dragon Gaiden has that English translation patched in yet? Because I've been waiting for that to actually play it. Where the hell am I? There's no map. I go through this door, and am I getting turned around, or am I facing... The directionality that. here is horrible. Uh, I was asking if the English dub had gotten patched into uh, Like a Dragon Gaiden yet or not. I have no idea, sad to say. Uh, so it says, looks like, not yet. Okay. But I I'm gotta away. hear the new canonical voice of Kiryu, Yang Ye, YouTuber Yang Ye. Listen, it's... I... Need the English voice so I can, like, comprehend the stuff better. I don't want to be looking at the subtitles all the time. I'll have to make sacrifices. <laughs> Judge the audio. Man, it, you know, that... it, what's, what's good about it, though, what's good about the whole thing happening is that it gives me hope that, you know, if, if one hack YouTuber can can achieve that level of, you know, participation in their favorite game, then maybe there's hope for me, too. What what beloved character from a Japanese game would, I would ruin? you like to? Yeah. That's a good question. Make me the new Doom guy. <laughs> rip and tear, rip and tear, baby. <laughs> Uh, dubs apparently out this month. Yeah, last time I checked, they didn't even have, like, a release date. 
on it. I went through the blue door. My guy is still here. There has to be some I, way out of this. I understand why they would get rid of the previous English Kiryu voice actor and replace him with someone else. But I, I thought it was kind of neat how in uh, Like a Dragon Yakuza, they brought back the original English Kiryu voice actor to be Kiryu again. Yeah, like, that, was, that, that was, yeah. I understand replacing with someone else. Um, they should have brought Mark voice... Hamill back to be, yeah. uh, what's his name again? Majima. Yeah, that would have been good. I too. cannot figure out how to progress this game. I've gone around in a circle like 17 times. Okay. This is Maybe horrible. Maybe we'll move on. <laughs> like, I'm offended that the, their attempted River City Ransom game is completely held back by the fact that it's impossible to navigate. The combat is whatever. It's supposed to be simple. River City Ransom Kunio Kun combat is supposed to be simple, but the fact that I cannot figure out how to move forward in what should be an entirely linear game, and also this camera control, this is a crying shame. I gotta be honest. Like, I... I once I realized where, what this was, like, I, my hopes actually went up. This is maybe the biggest disappointment yet, just for the fact that it's such a, a, a great concept squandered. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I got no idea where the fuck you're supposed to go. Can you press, like, select and bring up a map or something? Nope, there is no map. I did check that. Like, this door don't open. You go up, and then there's an upper level. This door, I don't think does anything. I think it's a trick. Run into it, and just don't press anything. That's why. Are you fucking with me? Yeah, I could tell you were loading into another area, but you were holding the same direction he was sending you back through the door. I'm dumbfounded. What a fucking horrible decision. What hey, the button's right there. Awful implementation. Maybe the, maybe the uh, good game is hidden behind the button. Investigate. There are five oh, no. switches. What do you want to try? Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a door opened somewhere. I'm just gonna open them all. What's to stop me from opening all of these? Release all the murderers. What if only one door can be opened at a time? Oh, I'm sure that's the case. And I'm gonna be just as furious when I head down here. We don't know if that was one of the doors. Also, you're free to move on to any other game. Any other yeah, time, no, anytime I'm, you want. I'm done with this one. This one is... This is this is the angers I've gotten at one of these. I think. At least tonight, for sure. Because that is, again, I'm just... It's so... It's, it's a sadness in my heart that they... That there is a simple 2000 River City Ransom game that is that is not good. That they ruined it. It was really funny when they said the F word, though, in the middle of one of the dialogues. Yeah. I, I shudder to think of what other mid-2000s translations they have in there. That it, uh, says fumbled. Oh. Yes, fumbled the hell I don't out think of you that see, one. I don't think you see fuck that often in uh, PS2 games. It was 16 like, plus you know, in uh, Europe, by the way. 16 plus release. Like, I guess there was GTA and all that, but... Uh, and Yakuza. <laughs> So we got two more games left on the itinerary, I think. We have about we have time for about two more games too. Yeah. Uh the, the next one up, I will grab the cover for. I can show it to the world. It is Tank Elite. This was developed by Vinct et Un Systems, published by Agitech. The Japanese title for this one. 
uh, I will pair with the Japanese cover art. Find it. It's one of these covers. It's one of these ones that has like multiple images on it. They like the style of composition a lot for the covers. But the uh, Japanese title for this one is Simple 2000 Series Volume 32, The Sensha, which just translates to The Tank. So straightforward, simple, simple, rustic, beautiful. 2000. Simple, rustic, beautiful 2000 is the proper full name of the uh, series. We'll rebrand it. <laughs> uh, Big Bean Duck Up says, simple series, the war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> This stream brought to you by War Thunder, World of Tanks. <laughs> Whatever military games have tanks in them. <laughs> oh wait, War hold Rock. up. I, I I wanted to try something. Oh, we totally forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. How I'm do we gonna, do it? Well, all I can do on my end is this. And then see if that's enough to uh, summon it. <laughs> because it's technically on screen. I'm not seeing anything. Do I need to I sent load a chat up an message? Actually, wait. Why didn't it go through? <laughs> yeah, there's no messages in chat. I'm not seeing anything. Hold on up. End. <laughs> why did I? It did your did our chat block me from did Nightbot block me from saying this? Say that again. There we go. All right, so that's not working. That's not doing anything. I will... Oh, give give it a second. We'll see if it... <laughs> no, I don't think it's doing anything. I think I have to take action here. I, d I did it in all caps, and it just didn't even send it through to anyone else. It was like, no. It doesn't all... For those of you who don't know what we're doing, there is there's a cool new feature that, uh, that uh, Twitch has rolled out. We're in Mountain Dew. MTN Dew. If you mention it, or if it appears on screen, uh, they will. There is an algorithm, an AI routine that apparently exists to scan all streams at all times for Mountain Dew products, and will summon a bot of some sort. So, hey, what? Why can everyone else say Mountain Dew in all caps and I can't? <laughs> that's honestly downright unfair. Uh, let me let me make this more realistic. Let me put a color key on this. Uh, custom color. Can white. we frame it so that the tank is, like, replaced with Mountain Dew? I will give it a shot. I will give it my, my best shot. Good enough. Alright, can I can I drag that across the screen? Shaking up my can of Mountain Dew. About to drink <laughs> this. If anyone at Twitch you know, happens to have a word with the, uh, the Mountain Dew bot, maybe they can tell me whether it, it's safe to, uh, to shake a, a can and open it or not. I need to know. I need, I need... I don't... I know I'm the one who suggested we do this, but I don't know what the end goal of this skit is. <laughs> I just want to summon the bot. I just want to see it happen. Yeah. And then I'll, then I'll figure it out from there. I'll improvise. Let me let me go ahead and find a corner for it, like a corner of the screen that I can okay. just live in. That could be like our, our ping tuber avatars. You can take Mountain Dew and I'll take Mountain Dew Code Red. Actually, you know, I don't even want to do this. Yeah, <laughs> I, that's I decided, fair. I suddenly decided I, I don't actually want to do this. <laughs> you know what? It's been on stream for long enough that if the bot's going to see it, the bot was going to come out, the, the bot was going to show up, the bot would have showed up. Co-op yeah. missions. One player and two players share the task of operating a single tank versus oh, one player versus two player battle. Hold on. If we're going to if we're gonna do any sort of two player, I need to uh, be right back. All right. I'll, I'll do a single mission in the meantime. Mission one, two, three, four, five. Why are they laid out like this? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, go from mission one to three, and then two to five or four. I guess I'll do mission one. Destroy all enemy targets. Okay. Crap, a fiasco so that is. Don't understand war. It's true. Oh, we have choices of tank. 
Chi Ha, Panther D34. Two pages of tanks. They all have different speed stats. Why would I take this? Which has nothing going for it. I'll take the T34 because it's objectively the best of these stature to be believed. And paint job? Yes, please. Desert, woodland, urban, khaki, olive. I like a nice olive. Alright, can we pick any weapons? I guess the customization isn't that deep. Okay, left and right turn. Forward does nothing. X to, to actually get it moving, get it grooving. It doesn't look like I can aim up or down at all. I just kind of need to get in close and then... Fire. So it's land-based ace combat. Sure. That's Here, the only way I can do this. That's the only way I can contextualize machines shooting at each other. I figured out how to to circle strafe, so but I did back myself how, into a corner. Now, how many people do you think have leaked military secrets for this game? <laughs> I almost forgot about that for a minute. Hell of a community. How could you? It happens like it Every happens like week. three times a week. <laughs> yeah. How do I fire my sub weapon? My question. Triangle. Okay, machine gun. Got it. Uh, Sid says we should pick up a delinquent to ride on top of the tank. That would really help, I think. Did I die? How did I die? Why did I die? Alright, so the, it, the machine gun is just a burst fire. I also don't think it's very effective at all against... <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's an effective uh, tank strategy, though. It's just like ram right into them in the front and just start blasting your howitzer. I mean, it's the most effective strategy I've found so far. It's more effective than this, the speed strafing, because you can't aim up or down, is the thing. You can't adjust the vertical elements. Wait, no, oh, okay, R2 yeah, and L2 do, which is very slow, and it doesn't, like, move the crosshair. The crosshair stays fixed on the screen, but you have to just, like, notice the changes in elevation. So it's it's not an effective way of conveying that. Is there any context to what war you're fighting here, or are you just, like, free-range hunting tanks? I think it's just free-range. All right, so this, this is functional. Uh, Johnny back at S, does this have actual two lever tank controls or is it one stick? It is one stick, but L1, L2, R1, R2 are all being used. L1 and R1 rotate left and right. R2 aims up, I think. It's so hard to tell. R2 aims down, L2 aims up. That was a win. Winner, winner. Rank B, probably because I died once. Uh, let, let's try playing cooperatively on this one. Yes, let's do a co-op one. Though I do, I still do not understand this screen at all in the way that I unlock missions two and three. If I do mission two, then I can unlock missions four and five. And then presumably right. it goes off screen to show even more missions you can reveal. Yeah. This is needlessly that's, cumbersome. That's how counting works. If you play P-Cross, you'd know. Destroy cannons. Okay, this is only five missions. This one makes more sense to me. All right. So this is co-op somehow. <laughs> We're both going to control the same tank. One of us presumably driving, the other one controls... Right. Like one of us shooting. takes the left half, and one of us takes the right half. I'll pick this objectively worse tank. 
Does the paint also change our stats in any capacity? It does. Uh, oh. Strange. We can't pick weapons. This paint this makes you go is faster. Dark as hell. This is, this is like working off like Warhammer Orc logic. All right, what this do you want to do? This paint will make my thing go faster. Um, uh, I will gun. Okay. Okay. And I will see how. Oh. Oh, there we go. Controls gunner. Target, Target the analog stick. Down. Oh, now Cannon. I'm using now now it's two lever controls. Now I'm actually using both the analog sticks. I Interesting. This is a completely different way of controlling the game. All right, you got your roll down. I'll, I'll yeah. let's see what I can do here. So you real? play Katamari and I play a real shooter. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, okay. Real tank controls, and, as Johnny Baghead points out. Take that, Resident Evil. And Eiffel. I can <laughs> aim up and down. We're looking for cannons. Yeah, oh, that's his cannon ah. right there. All right, hit it. Okay, for sub weapons, you're gonna have to be like Facing aiming forward. directly. Yeah, got it. Oh shit! Okay, back up, back up. Yeah, can't aim that low. I'm gonna try to keep. I'm gonna re I'm gonna circle strafe around. No, never mind. A tree got in the way. Oh, I don't have that many main left. Okay, I'm gonna try to forward face it then. Shit. Nope. <laughs> Bad. Bad, <laughs> Bad cooperation. <laughs> Is it not gonna let us try it again? Wow. Oh wait, it goes uh, right to the second mission? Yeah. Oh, well, they fucked that mission up. Better send them on to the next one. Let's pick the better tank again. All right. Let's demand. Do you want to change roles during any of these? Um... Do you think he'd be a better shot? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. All right. Bigbean.gov says, not gonna lie, I think it should be a survival horror game where you're in tank now. That could work. Yeah, just, just make sure we don't get hit and I'll figure out the rest. Got your su your uh, sub guns ready to go. Open fire. This soundtrack kind of goes hard, needlessly hard. I think you want to go this way. Yeah. Submachine gun ready. All right, there's one behind that wall there. I can tell because there's red on yeah. the mini-map. They're gonna be like right. Yeah, there. I'm gonna kind of swing around. Yeah, let me just use my cannon on them. Can I shoot them through the wall? No. I think that went right through them. I'm gonna try and yeah. A little harder to control when like the can when I have zero control over the camera. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. I'm trying to adjust to it. Okay. Your camera, though, you might want to swing it around. That's a big ass tank. Okay, so the other one was. I think over here. That way. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. More to the... Trying to aim down, but it's. There hey, we go. We now got we're it. With gas. 
Uh, Johnny Baghead says, I, if this game was more sim style, I think with not much work, this could pass for a full price game. Bad? Bad. We won! <laughs> Any mission you walk away from is a good one. Thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> Uh, Bag had claiming that the song was uh, it was break stuff by Limp Bizkit, or at least like the rhythm or cadence of it, or or something. The notes, the pro 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 chord progression, perhaps. Listen, I've, lis I've listened to break stuff a lot, and I didn't hear it. No, I didn't hear that either. You know, I didn't even choose the paint last time. Yeah, all about a. It's good. Yeah, that seems to be the strongest defensive paint. Got a lot of lead in it. I think I should stay gunner for this. Yeah. All right, steer us to victory, my friend. Right, we're doing all, all right. five of these missions, by the way. I don't at this point. Oh, really? <laughs> I think we are. Getting real battle tanks vibes from this. Yep. Oh, deadhead. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah. No. You can't keep correcting as I'm trying to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Game Hall of Fame. Serpentine, Serpentine. <laughs> this game is cruel. <laughs> Alright, let, let me drive again for this one. I'll I'll give it another shot. I'm gonna take us around the map. I'm gonna ask you to mostly rely on the missile. When you have target lock, okay. hit like three as hit as quickly as you can with it. Because I was like mashing it. I was trying to put like burst fire out basically. And we're, you're gonna fire from the right hand side. I'm gonna I'm gonna strafe around the left because it seems like a big open map. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, yep, we're we're oh. right into the thick of it. Okay. Yeah, so get yourself a line there, and uh... yeah, well, okay, that's that's an issue. Yeah, hit it. I'm gonna come up. Uh, can't. Good. Okay. I know you gotta wait for elevation, but... One more hit should do it. Ah, shit. Okay. Okay. I'm out of, uh... Yeah, I'm doing evasive right now. Downhill. I'm gonna recenter. Yep. Give me a second. Yeah, it's so inconsistent with where the target reticle actually decides to show up or not. Okay. Reverse for a second. Don't fire yet. Oh. Head on. Dang it. Ah. <laughs> We were on a good clip there. I think we had we had something yeah. good going there. Uh, Bigbean.gov says, Oh, God, I was playing Tank Fighter 5, and this scrub Corporal Jeff just spammed Tank Flash in the corner. When I tried to get close, he insta-killed me with Tread Stomp. I hate this game. My sentiments exactly. I don't know if I hate this. It's, it's actually okay. It, it's, it's fun that this co-op mode exists. I don't know about the practicalness of it. <laughs> I don't know if this game gives you enough options to really be good for what it's trying to traffic in here. I would go back to Gunner for this one. All right. I'm curious to see the battle mode, though, the versus mode in this as well. Might be something to it. Can Scanning we just get in the plane? Room. Yeah, can we just bounce? Oh, they're coming for the plane. They're behind us. Yeah. Or they're behind that fence. I'm going to assume they cannot shoot through that fence. 
we can. No, I'm assuming we can't either. <laughs> yeah. I'll give Makes you the best shot it. if you want to take it. Yeah. No. Yep. Can you ride through it? Can you drive through it? No. Nope. Strongest material known to man. All right. I what the assume hell are we the supposed to do is, then. Yeah. <laughs> assume the entrance is this way. Yeah, I see. There is a tank over oh. there that we're gonna have to take care of. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go in an angle like this. Let me machine gun them. Turn back them around. Off. I think I have. I think I can. Yeah. Or maybe not. Maybe missiles are the only thing that'll work. Well, if you run out of missiles, then we're fucked. So. All right. There's set up. There's either a tank behind it, or you can blow things up in the. I'm gonna go after that thing right there. Never mind. <laughs> no, we'll get shot in the butt. <laughs> uh, Johnny Baghead says, I take back what I said earlier about this almost seeming like a full budget game. <laughs> too bad. Or too bad. You are too bad to proceed. Either way. Damn it. Are you bad head. enough to proceed? <laughs> Nothing to it but to do it. Where do you want to fight? Wait, hold on. City area. All right. Again, I will pick the tank that is objectively best of the options they give us. I will pick the, the paint that is objectively best of the options they give us. And I will skip past that option because I cannot interact with it. I'm sure you can unlock things by playing the campaign mode. I'm sure you can unlock new models of tank, new weapons possibly for that third slot. But as it stands, we got nothing. Paint. I went with Urban, so you should go with Olive. They have the same stats, but they're at least differently colored. Yeah. So we don't confuse the two. <laughs> yeah, of course. God forbid. All right, may the best tank win. Grant, we're in a city, so, like, I'm not going to even be able to see you with your urban camo. That's yeah, true. I forgot these are back, uh, back to the regular controls now. It's X to accelerate. Okay. It is square Oops. to fire missile. It is triangle to fire machine gun. R2 to aim down. L2 to aim up. R1 and L1 to pivot your thing so again completely oh different. okay look how useless this mini map is the mini map should not also be horizontal like this <laughs> the mini map should be whatever it needs to be so you can actually see ahead of you oh shit Well, shit. I don't think the machine gun did any right. damage to you. What's the point of the machine gun if it doesn't do any damage to anyone at any time? Two out of three. That's two out of three. Come on. All right. All right. Oh, I have to hit retry. Tanks, 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 tanks. Right? <laughs> it's it's honestly it's just like superman 64 multiplayer yeah. where once you if you fire first you just smash that button and that's it <laughs> that said superman 64 multiplayer 
still a little more fun than this, I think. A little more to it than this. Yeah, oddly enough. <laughs> There we go. Congratulations, you are the tank commander. From now on, any would... games that have tanks in them, you'll be the one yep. in charge of the tank. <laughs> Hello? If, if you would please hit that button. <sighs> you know, Chucky, I don't think it's particularly good manners to ask for the victory screen. That looks I like this, please. by the way. Well, thank you for indulging me. I don't think it's going to manage every time that one of us wins. I think it sets a bad precedent, you know? It makes us have we to got the button good. for a reason. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Actually, I think the reason was for single-player things. Now yeah, I think for about finishing it. games is what it was, but this is also yeah. funny, so... <laughs> All right. We got time for one more game tonight. And I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited mm -hmm. about this one. I hope... I've chosen to stop with a showstopper here. This could, again, very possibly, more likely than not, all go wrong. This could be horrible. This could be the worst game of the night. But I'm holding out hope that this one turns out to be good. The name of the game, and I want you to hazard a guess what kind of game do you think this is going to be? What popular game do you think it might be ripping off? There's no way of knowing for sure. Mm -hmm. But this is Taxi Rider. <laughs> now you're leading me towards crazy taxi but there is nothing more uncrazy taxi than that cover than that art, image there I that's think. that's true let's look at the japanese cover let's let's see what the japanese cover looks like japanese cover just is crazy taxi look at these little me looking people here all right what's the japanese title for this one uh, Simple Series Volume 48. The Taxi Utenshu Wa... There shouldn't be a space between the W and the A, should there? Oh, that's just bad. Font kerning. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So Utenshu Wa Kimida, which is uh, the taxi, you are the driver. So that's actually contrary, because the European title is Taxi Rider. So you're riding in the back of the taxi, but the Japanese title is You Are the Driver. So I'm getting mixed messages here. Are we going to be riding in the back of the taxi or are we going to be driving the taxi? Well, that you know, it's, it's, it's diff the, uh, the steering wheel's on the other side. Oh, so. yeah. You gotta, that's actually a recurring nightmare I have is trying to drive my car, but I'm driving it from the back seat and I'm trying to reach around to the driver's side to actuate the <laughs> pedals. And I don't know why I keep having that nightmare. <laughs> Oh, who developed this? Who uh, who published it? Developed oh, yeah. by Tamsoft, published by Five Hundred Five Game Street. All right, they're, they're a relatively trusted hand, I think. I don't think that uh, Tamsoft has led us too far astray. Think that Un Systems is on thin ice after that tank game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, when Tamsoft we, did Street uh, Boys, and they, they, they did us horribly wrong with that one. Never mind. I think I have right. yeah. When we eventually, like, rank these things, we should also pay attention to, like, who developed what. No, absolutely. That's and why like, I have the developer and publisher information. I'm very interested to see yeah. which ones. Standard warning they give. When driving a real car, you must obey the rules of the road and drive safely without causing accidents. Ugh, fine, Mom. Digital bros. Who the hell are these digital bros? It's it... <laughs> publisher. Five hundred five Game Street. Did five hundred five Game Street sometimes call themselves Digital Bros just to? Oh, I didn't hit start mm -hmm. fast enough, so now it's look at that Comic Sans. I know it's old hat to comment on. I don't Comic think Sans. I. Is that Comic Sans? That this is Comic Sans. Looked like knock. It looked like knockoff Comic Sans to me, but this is just a demonstration. It's for demonstration purposes only. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can't afford that. Uh, Firefang9212 points out Digital Bros is the parent company of 505. Okay, that explains a lot. Thank you very much for that, actually. That that explains everything. Start game. This is Nijiro City, a quiet town and full of kind people. Till a taxi driver came to town. <laughs> what do you think this place has? Starting today, you will begin driving the streets of this town as a taxi driver. 
When do I get my revolvers? When do I get my cool assortment of guns? Oh, oh look at this fucking guy. I am Ogaro, uh, Ogawara Gengoru. I'm the boss of Nijiro City's taxi office. From today, you will work as a taxi driver in this city. You might find it a bit difficult. This is the first time you are driving a taxi, but you'll have to do your best. Your goal is to make a certain amount of money within your working day. You'll have a morning and an evening shift. In the morning, you'll work from 8 to 1, and in the evening, from 8 to 1. If you can't make enough money, I'll fire you right away! I think you get the message. It won't be easy to make 1 million yen. <laughs> Watch the time. Look for places where you think more people will get together and treat your customers well. If you make more money than expected, you'll get bonuses you can make to use your you can use to make your car more powerful. So you'll make a load of money. Wait a minute before you continue. I have to give you my approval. You're still not allowed to go, but as soon as I give you permission, you can start. Ah. Got it? Then get a move on. For now, you only make a little money, but you have to get it to the end of the day. Alright, options from here. Good. Work diary is where you save. Go, first day to work. So I played, I did the Stellar Stone Spectacular for Big Riggs' uh, birthday, 20th birthday. And that right. took me to playing one of uh, Stellar Stones's uh games from back in the day that they had a taxi racer game which is their attempt at mm -hmm. a taxi <laughs> okay physics in this are good very good enjoying the uh drum base here does anyone want to take my damn car r1 brings up the minimap <laughs> <laughs> this is how taxi drivers work right just like drive right up to people like you want to ride Wrong side of you the You want to go somewhere? Lady! I ever, have I ever told you my theory that uh, a kidnapping is just the libertarian version of a taxi? <sighs> the fuck does that even mean, Sharky? <laughs> All right. Well, I came up with this one night when I was drunk and out with some friends. <laughs> Very good. And we were taking a taxi. And I was examining the situation that we paid money to this guy to drive us somewhere. But, you know, then I thought, like, well, in a free market, you know, who's to say that this taxi driver has to drive us? Someone else would say, hey, I will pay you more money to drive me and to kick them out of the car. But then I thought, well, you know, what if... The fact that we paid the money to take us somewhere, what if that's Trump by someone who has more money? Say, hey, I'll pay you money. They want to go to the KFC. I'll pay you more money to take them to the FIFA store. And the and the tax driver was like, all right. And they take us there instead because we've been outbid. But then I thought like, well, I mean, theoretically, what if we were just sitting there and we didn't want a taxi, but someone outbid us on not wanting a taxi? And they just paid someone said, hey, taxi driver, go get this person and take them to the FIFA store. If they can, you know, pay you, then, you know, maybe they don't have to. But, you know, I can always outbid them. So that's basically like a, a pure free market taxi would be a kidnapping. Truly the marketplace of ideas. Yeah, the, the big problem with this is that you can't see who wants the taxi from a distance. But I've at least figured out how to pick up people and take them where they want to go. Good theory, by the way. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, quite a few jealous shooters earlier that night. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Wait, this is a dead end. Oh, I should probably look at the map, and that should give me some sort of idea of which way is good to go and which way is not. I don't think I'm on a good track right now. Can I get rid of this guy? Can I kick him out of the car? Can I just be like, sorry, sir? To the station, this there's a lot of people. You know, if you just keep driving around in circles, you know, that cost will go up. You drive safely. I don't know, I can't even begin really? to count how many accidents I got into over the course of that, but... I was taking a nap the whole time, but it felt like you drove safely. 
That's the vibe I got when I woke up. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Here's ten dollars. Hey, old man, you want an old man? No. They said the station has a lot of people. I did see that we did pass by that. I, I guess the part of the strategy is figuring out where people congregate. To apartment, please. You're gonna have to be a little more specific than that. You know, apartment, place I live. Go there. <laughs> Your reputation is really good. I, I don't know why. <laughs> this is such a bizarre concept that like, you, as the taxi driver, have to go up to people and, like, basically ask them, do you want to ride? Like, this is not a city where people hail down taxis. This is a city where taxi drivers hail down passengers. I'm about to start running down people if, they, if they're not more fares willing to be picked up. The goal is so clearly indicated. It is such a giant distracting. I'm in time for my meeting. At my apartment. Big Brother's meeting to st station north, please. I think I can do that. I still need to play more zombie virus, the the, the zombie ambulance game. That one was interesting. I was gonna ask. Yeah. I was actually gonna ask you about that the other night. <laughs> I did play more Good Project play Minerva at a certain point too, and uh, that game is okay. The novelty wore off after a while, being a girl with a gun. Oh, <laughs> That's now it's hard to imagine. Oh, this is interesting. We actually picked up someone. He actually drove, said, go here, pick this person up, get T-boned, and <laughs> then take me to a destination. It looks like they're, they're playing with it a little bit. I will say this is, you know, there's a bit of production value behind this one. It's not an ultimate line game. It's just a standard simple series, but... It has a little more going on for it than some others we've played. Cool. Sounds okay, so awful. the people do kind of wave you down. Oh, and these are two separate ones. These, these are two people who just happen to be catching the same taxi, but they do not have the same destination in mind. Wait, so how does the how does the fare get split? That's a good ass question. <laughs> They're going to two completely separate places. Magic Meow saying this the uh, taxi game. Oh no. Uh, oh, that's just a wall. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, easy okay, mistake yeah. to make in my, you know, my my defense. Here in Fulbright City. Please wait a little while. Oh, wait, so they're both. Uh, wait. They just have multiple stops to make, I guess. Okay. I guess they are together. But it, but it didn't matter what order you went. I guess. This is, this is cute, though. Magic Mouse saying, gotta say this taxi game isn't particularly crazy. Yeah, it doesn't need to be. Sensible Taxi. Reasonable Which taxi. is really... Sensible Taxi really popular in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we love Sensi. Sensi Taxi. Next time, I'll call you again. That lady is hiding. I already hit the target. I mean, I, I'm just playing for uh, the love of the game now. Not because I forget what time it ends. It's, it's one o'clock. One o'clock. You work from eight to one and then eight to one, which is a pretty rough schedule if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing it like this? Because <laughs> I realized I could shove the cart little bit by little bit. I think they're honking like their a, horn at me. It's like some sort of fusion dance. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you do now, bitch. Your move. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something about how the, the windshields are drawn makes them look like the cars from Cars. Like, you can kind of see eyes on them a little bit. This is like Koro Q, where the cars are sentient, but there's just no one in them, but there's also no faces on them or anything. So that's the middle ground between cars and... I don't know, Transformers, I, I guess. <laughs> I, I would like to see... I would like to see cars, but none of the cars are sentient, but they still have the faces and stuff. It's just this really uncanny dead world. 
They said there's a lot of people here, but the problem is that no one is looking for a taxi ride, and I can't jump the railing here. Well, he's not wrong that there are a lot of people there. He's just making an observation. I suppose so. Yes, come in, please. All right, that's like this is a schoolgirl and a salary man, so it I'm could be hazard. Could be guess. his daughter. It could be his daughter. You know, I'm sure she calls him daddy, but I'd... uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my soundboard. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> okay, let's go. Find one more before this clock runs out. I wonder if I even have time. I wonder if it'll <laughs> stop me in the middle of... Folks, if you want more jokes like that, check out the Discord where we... Uh... <laughs> I'm raw and unfiltered. <laughs> Problem. <laughs> Ten minutes the end of my shit. And where we also do like we stream pretty often there. Yeah. Checking out games in general. Oh. Lady, you wanna ride? Someone take a damn ride, please. Nah, shift's over. <laughs> Alright, do I go anywhere? No, it just ends? Okay, great. I appreciate the your efforts. Abandon the taxi. Just run. First of all, you need to memorize the city very well. Look at the map and pay great attention to where each building is situated. Go! Today to work. Go work. Go to work as taxi driver. You need to earn the daily quota. Yeah. I'll, I'll save that. Magic Meow says, folks, it's the submer. <laughs> as much as you desubscribe <laughs> from... No, from... don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> please don't, please. <laughs> all right. Were there we any gotta, other modes in this? Was this just single player and just doing that? Like I think it's days? just this. I think it is just that. I don't you would eventually upgrade your taxis, but I don't see like what menu would you do from that from. I can't even back out of this. I'm just here. This is where the game. You're, you're committed. Now. This is your, this is your job. You're committed. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. Oh, uh, that's okay. That'll do it for tonight. I think we we played a grip of games. Some of them better than others. Some of them actually very Johnny, good. Johnny Beckett says, now I want to listen to that song that guy made about taking a ride in his taxi cab. That video it fucked gets... me up the first time I saw it. Because, like, I was watching and I was like, why Plus... do I know this? Why do I know this place? I was like, this is my fucking city that he's doing this in. Vociferous? <laughs> so I... Yeah, because, like, there, there was just a scene where he was against the wall and I was like, I know that exact fucking architecture. <laughs> Cruising, driving, getting out of traffic. Look both ways before you cross the street. That's the Mega 64 version. Yeah, <laughs> like, I know. That's the Rocco <laughs> Bodie version. Anyway, <laughs> enough obscure references that only like two people here will get for now. Until the next stream, then we can make a bunch more. Thanks for joining, folks. Thanks for coming along with us on the Euro Trip. We'll be back on the Euro Trip. We're doing this once a month, I think, with the Euro trip. Yeah. We're, we're spacing it out. But, uh, again, some good games, a couple rough ones, but there's always pleasant surprises in these. That's why I like this, because it, it swings and misses, and then home runs, in the case of that one game where you played baseball for a minute. And, I don't know, it's just all over the place. And, and I like that whiplash. <laughs> but uh, we should announce our December plans. Yeah, you go for it. How about you have the honors? I'm going to give you the honors of announcing, of trying to articulate this and, and explain this in oh. some sort of way that makes sense. Okay. Um. Oh, well, now I have to prepare for it. Oh, okay, so... We were thinking about what we were going to do for some... Like, in October, back in October, we did, like, you know, Spooky Month. We did all sorts of Halloween stuff. And I was thinking, what can we do for December? And I was like, how about December is a gift to us? Specifically, me and Cass, where we play some games that are like good, maybe. <laughs> Novel. Yeah, concept. we're just gonna play. Yeah, we're just gonna play games that we want to play and we want to stream and show people without necessarily being bad games. Because it turns out there are some good games out there. No, I, I refuse to accept that. 
Well, we have a whole month to figure it out. Also, this month we are doing we're doing Alone in the Dark, right? 2008. Yeah, that did win on Patreon. That is our next yes. uh, Patreon voted for Patreon poll. Long play is going to be Alone in the Dark 2008, and I got the PC version up and running, uh, which is was supposed to be like a monumental task, and it took a little work, but I did get it up and running. So, you know, we'll yeah, uh, I, something to look forward to. I don't know if you want to go into any detail about, it or if you want to leave it as a surprise, but uh, we are going to have like a new mm, sub format or so something along those lines. That yeah, we'll be introducing in December. Explain. I think we'll yeah. let's save that one for when we debut it. But I will yes. say, just to hype it up a little bit, the show we will have an alternate format that we will introduce that is significantly different show formats. Same channel, same hosts, but a, a different feel and a different look, different branding on it as well. So it's something to look forward to. We'll we'll debut that. This month, a little later, uh, or maybe earlier, who knows? Whatever day we want to do, whatever day feels right to yeah. do it. But uh, whatever day we actually get the material ready. <laughs> yeah, I need to prepare a bunch of stuff. I need to video edit a bunch of stuff. If you join the Discord, you can spoil it yeah. for yourself. I think we posted pretty openly about it. But uh, otherwise, you know, stay tuned, follow, subscribe, do all the things you do for engagement. Thank you again to everyone tuning in for voting. And and predicting for accurately predicting my win in party carnival. Congrats to everyone other than Frappy. Yeah, Frappy got re hit real hard by that one, huh? Sorry uh, about let, that. Let's raid. Oh, Ramona is streaming. They're playing some Chibi Robo. Chibi Robo. Fully is aware game. of what Chibi I'm Robo doing. Robot. Can you see? Uh, Johnny back at getting me the uh, drink at the very last second. Good use of their points. Yeah, I'll, I'll mm. finish this uh, drink up here. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so show Ramona some love. Uh, a moderator from our. Discord server, a friend, a confidant, but uh, that that will do it for us. So uh, all that's left to say is uh, bye. Good night, everybody.